To be honest, I'm an ultra handsome guy. People always assume how nice it would be to live with a pretty face. In fact, it's super annoying. I've changed my line account name, haven't I? How come there's another dozen girls trying to add me? Who leaked my new account? They just want my body, pretending to bump into me on the streets, blocking my door at night, spiking my drinks with aphrodisiacs. They'd do anything to sleep with me. Sometimes I wish I could live a different life where they won't keep bothering me. A sudden death. And then, I woke up in a completely foreign world. Didn't I die from a car accident? Is this what they call transmigration? And only my soul traveled through time and space. Well, could this be the body I am about to possess? He looks disheveled, then there's a stupid smile on his face. He looks exactly the same as me. Could it be another me in some parallel universe? Huh. Is this, his memory? This man and I share the same name, Xia Yen. He's the son of a squire from a small, remote town in the Han Empire. He encountered a beautiful lady named Qin Shinsi during one of his hikes. For the sake of love, he dropped everything and followed her to Moqing sect, thousands of miles away from home. He's been getting it on with Qin Shinsi every single night, and tried various positions. With Qin Shinsi's efforts in milking him, Xia Yan's body weakens by the day, he was still eager to fulfill her every request. Though, and finally he fell asleep one night and never woke up again. Obviously, he was used as cultivation vessel of plucking yang to nurturing by this evil woman. My lady, an entire morning has passed but child Xia still hasn't lifted a finger. He is probably dead for good. My lady, I'm so sorry you had to put up with him. That guy only had a handsome face but his personality was so dull. He was no match for you. Yueru, you don't understand. He is a rare corpus ascentetum. If he ever starts cultivating, the pre-celestial stage would be just around the corner for him to reach. He would have been discovered by the major sects and admitted as their core disciple years ago if he wasn't born in such a remote place. Now that I am draining his vital power with my arcane dual cultivation method, I must do it until he's completely dead so I can make his corpus ascentetum completely mine. If he's still alive then it shows I haven't seized it entirely and I'll have to dual cultivate with him a few more times. If he is dead for good, then we'll discard his body. Wait, discard his body? Please don't, then what should I? Hopefully, she can't tell that I'm not the original Xia Yen. How did that Xia Yen talk to Qin Xinxi? Honey, what's wrong with you? I heard from you that you're not feeling well and I'm here to have a look at you. I'm relieved that you're alright. The sect leader is calling for me. Please take some good rest for now. I'll come back in the evening to keep you company. Okay. My lady, our conversation? Don't worry, he didn't hear us. He is weak and uninformed. He could never lie in front of me, since I still haven't entirely seized his corpus ascentetum. I'll just sleep with him a couple more times. I see, my lady. Luckily, I was able to deceive her with my superior acting skills. I've almost retrieved all his memories by now, but this guy is a bit of a useless loser indeed. He's been sleeping with her for so long but still only acquired little useful information. He only knew that, this is a world where highly powerful people exist. Aside from ordinary humans, there are people called cultivators with superhuman abilities. The cultivation levels are divided into post-celestial, pre-celestial, and multi-celestial stages, and the post-celestial stage is further divided into nine levels. And the cultivation levels beyond that, the original Xia Yen has no idea about it either. Although I have successfully convinced that evil woman to leave, she is obviously going to dual cultivate with me again tonight. I must hurry up and escape. Sooner or later I'll die if I stay here. Huh. My back feels so sore and my legs feel like wet noodles. This body is too weak. I'm going to die from banging that evil woman tonight before I could escape. Isn't there anything I can do to save my own life? Usually in those novels, the protagonists all have their special powers, plugins, systems, and so on. Where are my special powers? I'm here. Huh. System loading finished. Welcome, my host. So I really do have a system. What does it do? You can upgrade your current skill level by consuming origin points. Origin point consumption varies among different skills. That's cool. What skills do I have now? Should I tap here to expand the menu? Skills. Art of Yang Stabilization. Current effect. Tonifies your kidneys and strengthens your potency. It has a slight invigorating effect. Art of Yang Stabilization? If I remember correctly, the original Xia Yen had learned it from Qin Shinxi, so it's a trash martial art that can only improve my potency in bed. 
but it's the only skill I have. I'll upgrade it then. Sorry, you do not have enough origin points to upgrade this skill. How familiar it is, hey, system. How do I get origin points? Origin points are consumed when you utilize the system's functions. It originates from the system's absorption and conversion of the disturbance you've caliced to this world's origin. It's a complex mechanism. In short, the system can obtain a small number of origin points by collecting the strong emotions other people feel towards you. Strong emotions towards me. I've mostly figured it out except for one thing. What does that word multiverses mean? It refers to all the possible universes in existence. With the help of the system, you may temporarily leave your main world and randomly travel to other worlds for exploration. Crap, this is even cooler. Wait, the main world refers to this world I'm currently in. Not where I came from. This world has been locked as your main world. Holy crap, I want to go back home. Please upgrade the system to unlock the transmigration function. You will be sent to a random foreign world every time you activate this function. Your homeland could be one of your possible destinations. The transmigration function will be unlocked at system level 1. The current system level is level 0. So how do I upgrade the system? Does it take origin points? You need to collect scattered system fragments to upgrade the system. The system will alert you when a system fragment has been found. The system fragments are scattered across many different worlds in the multiverses. The system can only detect them when you've gotten close enough to it. So that means I'll have to depend on my luck. Thank you for using the system. You may simply say, system panel, to call out the system next time. It only depends on my luck to upgrade the system to unlock the transmigration function, so I'll leave it behind for now. Skill upgrading is what I can work on, as for origin points. It should be easy. Why are you coming out? I felt dizzy in my room and want to go out for a walk. But my lady has told you. How dare you? He hit me. How dare you talk to me like that? You insolent maid. You should call me your lord. How? How dare you hit me? As expected, anger is the strongest emotion that I can easily trigger. What, do you want to fight back? My body is weak. Can you face the consequences if I get hurt? I can't. What are you waiting for? Come hold me for a walk. Wait, how the heck did she get pleasure from that? So Yuru just likes to be scolded? Yuru, what brought you here today? Greetings, Yuru. Ah, uh, it's Bekalai's eye. My lord here wanted to take a walk. Isn't he, Shinsi's husband? He's handsome indeed. I'd really like to get a taste of him. He he, beware, she might tear you up for stealing her man. As expected, this sect is made of evil women. These girls are quite easygoing when they're not trying to drain my life energy for cultivation. Oh, aren't you Chin Shinsi's toy boy? Look how weak he is. I wonder how many more nights he can spend with Chin Shinsi before collapsing. He has stayed inside his room for a couple of days, hasn't he? I thought Chin Shinsi has killed him already. He <laughs> he, sooner or later it will happen. Did you remember to clean your mouths today? What did you just say? I said your mouth smell like piss. You didn't gargle with that this morning, did you? You good for nothing. How dare you talk to me like that when you can't even fight on your own? I'm gonna. Hey, are you sure you want to do that? Yesterday, my honey told me that I was being too cowardly. She said I've got to be tougher from then on, and if anyone tries to bully me. Chin Shinsi is the marching sect leader's formal disciple. She has a position of superiority over other disciples. But she has never protected the original Xie Yen in this world. That's why these people have the guts to offend him. She will revenge me. So, are you really sure about it? Chin Shinsi? You loser, you're shitting your pants over a woman? Aren't you ashamed? Do you not have balls? Ha 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 ha. Chin Shinsi will certainly put up with me for now as long as she still wants my corpus ascentetum. I can do whatever I want linder her name. Only this little? Well, it's going to add up to a big number one day. I have nothing to lose in this. I'm so going to bash out of every one of you today, or my honey won't deserve her position. You son of a god, you stupid. I won't spare anyone in this sect who had humiliated and ridiculed the original C.A. Yen before, and next. Martial Arts Arena Sect Gate. Are you mad? Go talk to my wife if you have any questions. She will protect me. System Panel. I bashed everyone who's ever bullied the original CI Yen I've met during my walk and talked my mouth dry. Turns out I only earned two points. They're really hard to get. Anyway, I can finally upgrade my skills. I'm a bit excited even. Art of Yang Stabilization Upgrade. Oh, I feel so much better. Huh. 
I've only upgraded it once, and it has reached the maximum level already? No wonder why it's trash. I still have one origin point left, maybe I should try to upgrade it again. It worked. System prompt, your cultivation level has raised, current cultivation level, post-celestial stage, the first level. Wow, my cultivation level has raised, that was unexpected, I didn't know the art of yang stabilization could have this effect. Huh. Xie Yen I heard you. Honey. Here you are. Xie Yen? What are you? Honey, I've recently figured out some new tricks. I'm sure you'll love it. Oh? Is that so? He's always been a boring person despite that handsome face. Did he suddenly begin to understand? Then let me see what you've learned, darling. He's good looking after all. It would be a shame not to enjoy him. He <laughs> he. The next day. Darling, I didn't expect that you've made so much progress. It's all thanks to the art of yang stabilization. I feel much stronger than before after practicing it. It is really amazing. I would have died last night if I hadn't upgraded the art of yang stabilization. From now on, darling, it would be better if you kept a low profile. Be a good boy and don't get me into trouble again. Yes, honey. I would like to keep a low profile but unfortunately, my system won't allow it. I'll come back and spend more time with you later today. Take care of yourself, honey. Only a small pat and my shoulder has dislocated. I'm too much weaker than her in terms of martial arts. I can't back off now. I must push through this and collect more origin points to upgrade my skills before that woman loses her patience with me. You've released your inner strength externally. Congratulations, my lady. You've reached the ninth level of post-celestial stage. Pre-celestial stage is just around the corner for you. I had no idea that corpus ascentetum's effects could be further enhanced as my cultivation vessel's quality improves. One night with him brings me more progress in cultivation than half a month of hard work. It's not bad that I gave Lip my virginity in exchange for this opportunity. My lady, that Sia seems to have become smarter all of a sudden. We must be wary of him. So what? As long as he can't practice martial arts, he'll have to be my cultivation vessel. A few days later. How come we ran into that bastard again? He's nothing but a toy boy, no need to pay him any extra attention. I've repeatedly insulted every person in this sect who's ever bullied the original Xie Yen before. I've got almost ten origin points now. I've always been trying to reap emotions from them and they seem numb now. My origin points doesn't seem to be increasing either now. How lonely it is to be invincible like I am. But there is no point in saving up origin points if I don't spend them. Art of Yang stabilization cannot be upgraded again after reaching the extra level. I must learn new martial arts now. But even though I've been deceiving them under the name of that evil Qin Shinsi, I have not been able to learn any new martial art. Hey, think twice before you speak. Qin Shinsi was the one who sent me here to ask you. But I really can't teach our sex martial arts to an outsider. Instead, I've only increased her suspicion for me. Although she didn't talk much about it, she's been increasingly ferocious when she dual cultivated with me every night. Do you have any new surprises for me today, darling? If not, you will be punished for what you did during the day. Damn, I won't be able to keep this up for long even with the help of extra level art of yang stabilization. Fortunately, I'm not destined to fail. When I wandered here yesterday the system gave me a hint. System fragment detected. Please go collect it as soon as possible to upgrade the system and activate the next function. If you don't take what heaven offers you, you'll be cursed in turn. I'll do it. Marching Ancestral Shrine, where statues of all previous sect leaders are enshrined, a heavily guarded place, the system fragment is right in there, the system has marked it with a glow, fortunately, no one else can see it. Freeze, this is our sacred shrine, death to all trespassers. No one is allowed in here except the sect leader let alone a cultivation vessel like me. No, it's a misunderstanding. Please allow me to explain myself. How could I ever have the guts to break into the ancestral shrine? I'm actually here to admire your biality. My ladies, with your skin as fair as fine jade and your waist as delicate as willow branches, your beauty is truly unmatched. My heart races at the sight of your smiles, and I simply couldn't control myself. And when I came back to my senses, I have unknowingly walked up to you. You're Xie Yen, right? You're really handsome and sweet, unlike what the rumors said. No wonder why Qin Shinsi spoils you so much. But I have to guard the ancestral shrine now. You may come to my room this evening. Xie Yen? What, don't you want to spend time with me? Or maybe the three of us can be together. 
I do, of course, I do. But why do we have to wait until the evening? Ha, huh, but we must guard the ancestral shrine. Oh? That is, Yigitsun, the sect guardian? This guy has left a deep impression on the original Siayen during his first few days in watching sect with vile mistreatment. He is not afraid of Chin Shitsi, so I didn't try to provoke him these days and now he has shown up at the perfect time. You, get over here, go guard the ancestral shrine for my beautiful ladies here. What did you say? What are you looking at? I'm talking to you. I am now going to have fun with these ladies. Hurry up and take over their shift. No, please don't say that. That's Guardian Yi. He has a superior status, and we can't afford to offend him. What Guardian? Trash Guardian he is. My honey Chin Shinsi has told me all men in this sect are her servants except me. Chin Shinsi? How dare she humiliate a sect guardian like that? I'm running out of time. That evil woman is here. Go ahead. Hey, come at me, you servant. Hit me in the chest. Come on. You have a death wish. Ah, L, what a powerful punch. I'm dead. I'm dead. Stop. I haven't hit him yet, though. Have I reached the cultivation level that I can make it at the thought of hitting someone? Guardian Yi, get out of the way. I must enter the ancestral shrine now. It's only a couple of days left before I completely seize his corpus asymptotum. Chin Shitsi, do you really have no respect for me, a sect guardian? No one may enter the ancestral shrine to save that dead bastard. I, I'm not trying to save him. Shinsi, you are not allowed to enter the ancestral shrine. Please talk to the sect leader about this instead. I finally got inside. Fortunately, my constitution has been improved by my extra level art of yang stabilization. Otherwise, I'm bound to have a bone fracture. I'm glad I didn't really get hit with his punch, though, otherwise I'm dead. Where is the system fragment? Founding matriarch, Yuziello? Who would have expected the system fragment to be a jade sculpture of Maching Sex founding matriarch? System fragment fused, system upgraded current level, level 1, transmigration function is unlocked. Transmigrate? I want to use the new function now. Random world search complete discovered, Yunshan world, 8 origin points required to transmigrate. Transmigration function initial read, searching, discovered Yumahan world, confirmed to transmigrate. Yes, luckily, I've saved up 10 origin points, otherwise I'm doomed. Yunshan city. The Xia family and the Luo family are forming a union by marriage. What a grand wedding. Luo Xiaoyun is the most beautiful girl in Yunshan city. What a pity that she has to marry that Xia Yin. Keep your voice down. Yushan World, Xie Yen, son of the Yunshan City Lord Xie Jin, soul replacement completed. Ha 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 ha, I made it, my soul traveled here, but how come I've transmigrated into the body of a guy who shares the same name as me again? Silent, what are you doing on your big day? Child Xie is probably just too excited, it's alright, let's continue the wedding ceremony. Sorry, ha ha. I'm the son of the City Lord in this world, and I'm about to get married. This is a good start. Next, I'll just need to find martial arts to learn and upgrade them all to the max level with the system's help. Then beating that evil Chin and the entire marching sect would be a piece of cake for me. Huh. What is happening? My Panway won't forgive you for this. Huh. Am I not the one getting married to you? Who is that Panway? Why do I feel like I'm getting cuckolded? Why don't you take a good look at yourself in the mirror? My Panway is a heroic young man, you worthless coxcomb. You're no match for him. I'm never ever going to like you, not in this lifetime. Why would the original Xie Yen in this world fall in love with her? This girl is worse than Xin Shitsi. My daughter is blabbering nonsense from excitement. Please pay her no mind. It's done. Send the bride and groom to the bridal chamber. Get ready for the banquet. This licentious woman has a filthy mouth. She really can't be a good wife. I would have broken the marriage contract if my son didn't insist on marrying her. Wait. I, Pan Wei, have not presented my gift as a guest yet, Lord Xie. Why are you in such a hurry to end the ceremony? Pan Wei, I knew you would come to my rescue. Uh, what is happening now? Guest? Gift? My lover's wedding is happening today. How can I not offer her? The heads of every single person in the Xie family. How dare you? What the hell is going on here? If you want to fight, fine then, fight all you like, but please don't come near me. Memory import, start. Xie Yen, the spoiled only son of the lord of Yunshan City, is a playboy who has no interest in martial training. He was engaged to Luo Xiaoyun, the daughter of a rich businessman in town. 
But when they grew up, Luo Xiaoyun had fallen in love and eloped with Pan Wei, a handyman, at their engagement party. The Xie family and the Luo family sent a large number of men to hunt down the couple. Although Luo Xiaoyun was captured and locked up in her home, Pan Wei managed to escape. No one had expected that Pan Wei unwittingly received the heritage of an evil swordsman and became a master in martial arts overnight. And in the following three years, Pan Wei kept running into mysterious treasures and became increasingly powerful. Many of the mercenaries the two families sent to arrest him were killed or injured. The Luo family decided to force Luo Xiaoyun to marry Xie Yan today to avoid the risks that might be incurred from further delay. Pan Wei got the news and marched all the way to Yunshan city with his sword to rescue his lover. As expected, the Xie family's unique martial art, Finger of Vidra, is indeed powerful, but strong opponents will only make me stronger. I've learned a lot from this battle. I will be back to eradicate your family in one month. He's only bluffing. How stupid of him. In a month? Lord Xie's Finger of Vidra seals off one's internal power. He won't be able to use his internal power in at least six months. Why does he look so much like a Gary Stew? Pan Wei feels like the real protagonist here. I am just a villain for him to beat. Well, at least my dad in this world is pretty powerful and managed to defeat that guy. I'll only need to continue collecting martial arts to learn, then I can leave once I've accumulated enough origin points. Why didn't Lord Xie take the opportunity to catch him? I guess he didn't want any bloodshed to happen at his son's wedding? But it would be dangerous to not get rid of him. My lord! Mission loading. You have offended the chosen one in this world. Find a way to resolve your crisis and kill Pan Wei in a month to save Thexi family. You can return with all the power you have gained in this world once you finish this mission. Otherwise, you will gain nothing. What? Father, my dear father, are you okay? In the Yinshan world, most of the martial arts and cultivation methods are controlled by the royal family and other local noble families. By cultivating their internal and external power, Exercising their body functions, those strong cultivators can split a stone with a single punch. I see, so that's how the power system works in this world. Based on the description, it seems to be a low-level martial world, far less powerful than the main world. But it doesn't matter, it's still martial arts, so long as I can get to the entry point, level zero, I can use the system to upgrade myself, it could improve my combat power by at least a bit. These books, I know every single word but I just can't understand when they're all together. How can the martial arts in this world be so different from that in the main world, this Xie Yan in the Yunshan world? He's really ignorant. Besides the Yunshan Martial Arts Compendium which talks about the history of martial arts, are there any other books here that I can understand? The heavens have abandoned me. Young master, the lord is in the reception room. He asked you to come over. I see. It's not about whether I can complete the mission, but it's a question of whether I can stay alive. My soul alone has traveled here, so my current body is powerless. Otherwise, with my strength from cultivating the art of yang stabilization, I can fight Pan Wei. Art of yang stabilization, extra level. Since you are in a state of soul traveling steez prohibited here. I heard that Pan Wei defeated our lord yesterday. He even said he would come to kill all the Xie family members in one month. I have come to pay a visit to Lord Xie. How is he recovering? Go back. Our lord won't meet anyone at this moment. Looks like I can't make it on my own, but now is also too late to have someone teach me martial arts. I guess I still have to rely on my father in this world if I want to solve the problem. Father, I've come to see you. You are also here, Mr. Luo. Ah, uh, here you are, Yen. We were just talking about your marriage with Xiaoyan. What else is there to be talked about? Everything has been settled. The final wedding banquet got a bit mixed up, but we'll just make up for it another day. But, but Pan Wei said. Ha ha ha, Luo, don't tell me you believe my golden days are over, just like what those ignorant bumpkins think. That brat Pen Wei has indeed made a lot of progress in the past few years. I indeed underestimated him. So he got a chance to hurt me. But my finger of Vidra also got him seriously injured, ha ha. If he really dares to come back again in a month, I'll make sure he never returns. I see. Wait. Luo, I've thought about the words you just said. You didn't come here today to break off the marriage, did you? You've misunderstood. I watched Yen growing up. How could I break off the marriage since he is such a nice son-in-law? I see. I was thinking too much. Yes, yes, ha ha ha. Then I'm going back. I'll entrust my Xiaoyun to you. Will do. 
Let's grab a drink when my wounds recover in a few days. So your wounds are not as serious as rumors have it. If Panway comes back in a month, how much sure are you to defeat him? Yen, hurry, help me stand. Go back to the room. Are, are you all right? Should I call a doctor? Yen, Panway has seriously injured my heart, causing me to lose all my power. I have three days at most to live. When I die, those vultures including your father-in-law will immediately turn against the Sia family to please Panway. So tonight, you must run way through the secret passage on the back mountain. Father, and take this. This is the biggest secret in our family. A hundred years ago, an ancestor of our family saw a fallen meteorite. He found what turned out to be this magical J tablet. Once you hold it and feel it, it will transport some kind of inexplicable martial arts to your mind, but only the first few words were taught. Unfortunately, though it passed through a few generations, no one was able to reveal the secret of this tablet and master the complete martial arts. However, with those few words, our family has cultivated the one and only finger of Vajra and laid the foundation of the family. Now, I'm giving it to you. What is this feeling? You have found the ancestral heavenly jade tablet, number of uses 1 slash 1. A product of an advanced level celestial civilization and a one-time use item for ancestral secret martial arts. Traces show that it has been used several times by lower life forms, but because their spiritual power failed to meet the standard, it wasn't consumed. The spiritual power of the host meets the standard, the transport begins. Martial arts collected level zero. Go now, I will get you at least three more days. Don't think about avenging me, just live your life. So long as you have this tablet, our family will one day rise again. But this jade tablet is already broken. Father, are you okay? Although Siezhen, the city lord of Yunshan city, is extravagant and arrogant, he doesn't exploit his people at the bottom ranks. He has been taking a risk-averse policy to guard the board, which is pretty low-key. His son, Xie Yen, lingers in the red light district, but he doesn't do anything outrageous. People regard him as a spoiled scum and secretly despise him, yet they never complain. However, within a day, countless notices were posted in the city, listing Xie Yen's crimes. Xie Yen is really going too far. Not only did he abduct women, but also torture them in every way, he's worse than a beast, he had even stolen Wang's chicken. Young master, we have posted notices all over the city as you requested and now citizens are angry. Thank God that the Lord is cultivating in seclusion, otherwise, I can't imagine the consequences. Young master, why did you put so much effort in smearing your name to become infamous? It's still not enough. Still not enough. All right, you guys continue. I'll think about some more crimes to write about. Yes, young master. As a rich spoiled kid myself, why didn't the original Xie Yen bully people more often? I have to make up for things now. Since it's not face to face, the origin points gained by getting people angry are mere zero, 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 one points at a time. The points do accumulate due to the mass amount of people, but it still took a long time to barely gain one point. I can live with three points, but I'm not sure if I could upgrade my finger of nirvana to another level. Although the martial arts I obtained from the tablet was just a kind of medical skill, it's actually within the immortal domain, I haven't heard of it even in the main world, so I don't know why it appeared in a low-level martial world, but anyway, it's a great help to me. Back then, when I only had two origin points, the system said there weren't enough points to upgrade, let's try it again this time. Done, to upgrade one level, three points are enough. It feels pretty warm, and it seems I don't have to activate it with my internal power. How mysterious, no wonder it's an immortal skill. When I was at level zero, I could only use my skill every twelve hours to barely support my father's life. Let's see if I can cure him, now that I'm at level one. Father, I've come to see you again. Brat, get out of here. Father, please don't say that, I'm here to cure your wounds. I've already told you, poking at my wounds all day will not do any good. Father, please stay still, I'm using the martial art I've learned from the jade tablet. I mean it, I appreciate your kindness, but stay back. Stop struggling, take this, finger of nirvana. Humph, naive old man, my technique is rough, and I don't know anything about acupoints, just poking at the wounds, so what? As long as it can work, who cares? However, although I'm at level one, I could only cure the wounds and save his life, I have no way to recover his lost power, looks like I need to upgrade more if I want him to have a full recovery. At this point... I don't have enough points to upgrade, even if I do, the finger of nirvana doesn't give me any combat power. 
Although the finger of Vajra adapted by the Sia family has a much lower level than the finger of Nirvana, it's still a kind of attacking martial art, so when it comes to fighting and killing, it's far better than the original version, if only I could master the finger of Vajra. Never mind, it's already a blessing to inherit the finger of Nirvana, don't think too much. Servants. My father doesn't need my help to support his life now, let's move on to the next step. Young master, what can I do for you? Go, get me the most popular erotic books on the market. And prepare a carriage. Take me to the best brothel in the city. The next day, Yushan City. These are all crimes committed by that brat, Xia Yan. Did someone realize that his father is dying, so people are treading on the Xia family right now? But why do I feel that no one cares about it? Does the Xia family have that much prestige in the city? What are they doing? Come on, tell us another one. Yeah, I was late today and missed the previous story. Okay, I'll tell you another one then. It is said that when the young hero Pan fled all alone, his lover, Lo Xiaoyun, was abducted by Xia Yan. Xia Yan imprisoned Xiaoyun in the dungeon and tortured her in every way. Together they have practiced more than a hundred positions. Now let me tell you how they practiced the thirty-third position. Are you for real? How could it not be? Xia Yan said it himself. Ha ha ha, these rich spoiled kids really know how to have fun. Then Pan Wei is really cuckled it. Xia Yan! I swear I'm going to kill you. He is indeed the chosen one in this world. The origin points gained from him are much more than others. I could gather enough points to upgrade very soon. Then I'll have all the pieces I need. Seven days later. Why is it still not enough? It took three points to upgrade to level one then ten points to level two. And it needs more than fifteen points to upgrade to level three. Looks like this finger of Nirvana is going to drain my points. Forget it. I can't wait anymore. Anyway, the finger of nirvana at level 2 is still enough. I'll give my father the last round of pokes today. That should be enough for him to fully recover. Remaining origin points 15. Skill mastered. Finger of nirvana. Level 2. Current effect. Cure most injuries and diseases in a low-level world. Revitalize people to their peak states. Gradually, the effect weakens in middle-level and higher-level worlds. Father. I've come to see you again. Father, am I having a hallucination? Why do I see Buddha's light behind you? My child, I have reached enlightenment. All the items are forms of nothingness. Whether it's happiness or sorrow, just go ahead in your way. Then I'll get straight to it. Eighteen pokes of nirvana. Father, do you feel good now? Would like a few more pokes? Four days. It only took you four days to fully restore my power. The martial art from the J tablet is really impressive. Son, I have a crazy thought. If you poke me a few hundred more times, will my cultivation reach another level? Father, do you think it's like those magic supplements that could improve internal power? It's impressive enough to fully restore your power. Alas, it seems I'm a bit too greedy. However, I might have fully restored my power, but I'm still no match for Pan Wei. Relax, Father, as long as you follow my plan, with your current power, you can easily kill Pan Wei. Bravo, you're my good son. Now we can just wait for that bastard to come and meet his doom. Oh my poor silly father, ahem, you are so honest. Why must we stay and wait for him to come? I've already got a plan. Luo Xiaoyun must have a way to get in touch with Pan Wei, so why don't we? My lord, young master, bad news. Mr. Luo heard that the young master is spreading rumors of Luo Xiaoyun being tortured. So he's coming to demand an explanation. Is that true? Well, father, I can explain. I did all of this for you. Brat, you have ruined my entire reputation. Take my finger of Vajra. Mr. Luo, I have already punished this brat. Please forgive him. Father, I was wrong. I will never do that again. Since it's just a joke, there is no need for you to punish him like this. It's getting late. I'm leaving. See you then. All right, you can stop acting now. Or he couldn't feel our sincerity, right? Although he doesn't care about his daughter, he cares about his own reputation. I bet he will find a way to get Luo Xiaoyun out of this misery. Seven days later, Xia's dungeon. Who is it? Xiaoyun, it's me. Father, you've come to rescue me? I've been looking for opportunities these past days. Today, I finally took the chance to drug the guards. Now they are all asleep. Xiaoyun, you have suffered a lot. It was all my fault. Father, I don't blame you. I only blame that wicked Xia family. Xiaoyun, I can only take you this far. Leave now. Father? I have to go back and calm Xia Jin and Xia Yin, so I can't accompany you. Take care of yourself. 
Father, rest assured, I'll definitely find Pan Wei and ask him to destroy the Xia family. Pan Wei, I've finally come back to you. Xiaoyun. Xiaoyun, did that bastard Xia Yan really torture you? Xia Yan? I have been in prison and haven't seen him. I see, then how did you manage to escape? My father couldn't bear to see me suffer, he secretly helped me escape. Your father? Haha, <laughs> looks like my father-in-law finally realized that the Xia family is worthless and acknowledged me instead. Don't say that. Xiaoyun, I have been practicing my martial arts these days. I will kill every member of the Xia family next. You won't blame me for that, will you? How could I ever blame you? I hate the Xia family with all my soul. Today let me tell you how I got laid with Luo Xiaoyun. This voice, it's Xia Yan. I was just about to show her my capacity at that time. Shut up, Xia Yan. How dare you stand in front of me? How the hell did you even find me? You want to know the truth? The truth is, you sold me out. Pan Wei, I'm not, I didn't do that. Get lost. Hey, don't be so hasty. I haven't had the chance to explain my ingenious plot yet. If everyone is like you, the world is going to end. Haha, <laughs> in fact, I have already unleashed the internal power sealed by your finger of Vajra. I even learned a method to circulate my internal power, which made me several times stronger. Your family martial art is indeed unique, yet you are too useless to fully master it. Now I have fully mastered it, and I can just test its power on you. Pen Wei, you bastard, don't you know you are about to get killed? He is indeed the chosen one. He's progressed so quickly. Luckily, I've got ready for it. Guys, now is the best time to take your sweet revenge. Mountain Splitter Hua Yunxiong. As a loser, how dare you show up in front of me? Wow, he just tore the house apart. No wonder people call him Mountain Splitter. He is really strong. How many more people are ambushing me? Show yourselves. I, John Yang, have come here to get my revenge. Pan Wei, you intruded into the prince's mansion at night and stole the Qi Feng sword. My name is Luo Yuxiang, and by the order of the emperor, I'm here to take your life. Go to hell, Pan Wei. Pan Wei, you're doomed. Pan Wei, hand over our secret treasures. Xie Yan, what the hell have you done? How is it possible for you to gather them all? It's very simple. I cured their wounds, and they already had a grudge against you. As the chosen one, Pan Wei must have made progress by fighting his opponents. He would surely have countless enemies, so I just searched for them one by one. After this round, the internal injury that Pan Wei caused will fully recover. Excuse me, are you Hero Lang Yam? I wonder if you're interested in fighting Pan Wei. Why don't you make everyone know who is the best genius in Yunshan City? I heard Pan Wei dared to intrude in the third prince's mansion at night and steal the sword. I, Xie Yan, am just a common civilian. But I also have a grudge against Pan Wei, so I would like to get that sword back for the third prince. Pan Wei, I've gathered all your enemies here. Even if you're the chosen one, I believe you won't overcome this situation. Fighting with so many people alone with no fear, Pan Wei is really worth remembering. However, it's already difficult to fight two people alone, not to mention more than ten of them. Pan Wei's injuries are getting more and more severe. His power is also getting weaker. It's settled. Looks like I can complete the mission very soon. System panel. It's really hard to gather these origin points. I suppose my reputation has already spread to other cities, yet there are still so few points, but... I can't believe it would take more than 25 points to upgrade Finger of Nirvana to level 3. I wonder how advanced it is. But it doesn't matter. I have plenty of time. Anyway, I can leave here at any time. I don't have to worry so much as I did in the main world. After I complete my mission... I'll travel across the world, ruin my reputation everywhere, and gather a bunch of origin points. These free points will be wasted if I don't gather them. Then I can learn all the martial arts I can possibly learn in this world, and upgrade them all to the highest levels. When I become invincible, I'll go back to the main world and crush marching sect. How perfect. Pan Wei, go to hell. Impossible, it's impossible. I'm the chosen one, no matter what I managed to do. I always made it. Now, now I'm defeated. Oh, Pan, you look terrible. Do you have something to say? Xie Yan. Come fight me alone if you dare. I have conquered you with my wisdom. There are so many people here, and why should I fight you alone? Never mind, time is up. I will send you to hell. I can't die like this. He's still struggling. Someone, hold down his leg, so I can take his life. He's finally dead. Why is it getting dark? 
did the lightning just strike? He's indeed the chosen one, even when he was getting killed, the sky cast the lightning in response. Penwet is dead, you've finished the mission, the reward is seventy origin points. Good, now I'm sure I can bring back my rewards, I didn't expect the system would reward me with origin points after I completed the mission. You will be sent back to the main world in ten seconds, please get ready. What the hell? You didn't tell me I would be sent back immediately after I complete the mission. My free origin points, my plan to become the king of the world. My soul is back, so this transport is not really reliable at all. Can it just transport my whole body? I'm back to hell again. Sect leader, Chin Shinsi's toy boy's intruding into the ancestral shrine is unforgivable. You can't be partial towards and beckalize of Chin Shinsi. Guardian Yi, why are you so harsh? Luckily, the time lapse between the small world and the main world is different. I don't think I've traveled for much time here. Otherwise, I would have been executed by now. All of you get out. When I seize this man, I will bring justice. Yes. Someone is coming in to capture me. Based on the conversation, it should be the leader of the marching sect. There's no chance for me to escape. As for fighting him, how can I fight him with my power of the first level in the post-celestial stages? Previously, I heard the disciples saying the leader is seriously ill. Uziello, the founding matriarch of Maching Sect. Got it. How dare you disturb the ancestral shrine of the Maching Sect? Come out now. This is. Bastard, how dare you damage the sculpture of our founding matriarch? Who is that? You have woken me up. Who's there? I'm you, Shiolo, judging by the power circulating in your whole body. Are you my descendant? Who has inherited my mochin cultivation methods? Your whole body is leaking internal power. Among your twelve meridians, two of them are almost broken, and less than a half of your acupoints are damaged, not to mention the several cracks in your internal power pool. No matter how hard you cultivate, your power will only become weaker instead of stronger. Is he trying to deceive me? But how did he see the details of my wounds? As far as I know, no one in my sect knows about this. Alas, after all, you are a descendant of my marching sect. I'll teach you a medical cultivation method. Finger of Nervinal. I've never heard of this martial art, but in terms of the sheer amount of power it has generated, this is definitely not something a cultivation vessel could ever achieve. Could it really be Lady Matriarch's doing? I'm tired, you're on your own now. Lady Matriarch, don't go. My lady, my lady. Fortunately, my finger of nirvana has been upgraded enough that I can now see the cause of people's illness. Otherwise, I would never be able to convince her that I'm the founding matriarch. Ugh, where am I? Ha, huh, ma'am, please get your hands off me. What exactly did you see after you came in? Answer me now. Humph, I might have bumped into something after getting thrown into the ancestral shrine. Then my mind went blank. When I was only half conscious, I heard a woman's voice. She said she wanted to teach me a medical martial art. I think it was called, the Finger of Minerva? You mean Finger of Nirvana? Oh yes, Finger of Nirvana. She asked me to use this art on the sect leader, promising to not hold me responsible for breaking into the ancestral shrine if I complied. Well ma'am, are you that sect leader she had mentioned? What do you think? Uh, sect leader, I will start massaging your shoulders according to that medical art now. Cut the crap. Finger of Nirvana. I'll try three forces of it first to convince her of the effect. What is this? A warm and impressive power is coursing through my body. It's not internal power but its healing effects are much better than internal power. I can't believe it has repaired my wounded meridians with such ease. It really was the Lady Matriarch. Don't stop, keep going. That's just the blood of stasis in my body. I've just spit it out. As long as this power keeps coursing through my body, even my incurable internal injuries will be healed at this rate. Didn't I tell you to continue? Why did you stop? Sorry, madam. This medical martial art is very energy-consuming. I have only learned a little art of yang stabilization before. Now I don't have the strength to perform the finger of nirvana again. I can't cure her straight away. Otherwise, I will be of no value to her, and I'll be left to die. He is the cultivation vessel captured by Qin Shinsi. He is too weak to be able to perform Lady Matriarch's healing skill to the fullest extent, then I'll have to. Sect leader, why did you hit me? Trespassing at the shrine is a major offense. I cannot pardon you. Even if I'm the sect leader, don't wipe the blood from your clothes. It's crucial to your survival. What? She's trying to save me? What exactly is she thinking? 
I haven't completely seized his corpus asentatum yet. It would be a big loss for me if my master really killed him. Master, how's it going with Xie Yan? Sect leader, if you can't bring yourself to execute this man because of his ties with your only disciple, I can help. Xie Yan's violation of our ancestral shrine is unforgivable. I have already dealt with him myself. You don't need to bother, Guardian Yi. Master, what did you do to Xie Yan? He will be here soon. You can ask him yourself. Thank you, sect leader, for sparing my life. Xie Yan? Master has castrated him. I won't have any chance to get his corpus astentechum now. Serves you right. I'll give you a swift death and free you from your suffering now. Wait. Guardian Yi, we should be fair and open ablet our delivery a punishment. I have punished Xie Yan for his trespassing. No need for further actions. After the death of Peng Min, I need a new person to be my servant. Xie Yan shall be her replacement. Sect leader's residence, marching sect. And here I was wondering what she meant by spilling blood all over my crotch. Turns out she was going to fake a castration. I've got to play eunuch now? All right. I can be her eunuch. Since then, I have temporarily settled down as the sect leader's personal servant. Now I use the watered-down version of Finger of Nirvana to heal the sect leader every day in the name of serving her. I found her to be quite easygoing once I got to know her better, however. Alas, how come this righteous cultivator, Qing Xuani, fell in love with the evil Emperor Chu Kuangren who knows nothing but power? I can't believe she's obsessed with romance novels. She even sympathizes with the righteous heroine. Weren't you supposed to be a merciless woman who cultivates evil martial arts? A few days later. Guess I really can't help being so charming. I am still so attractive to women despite them thinking I'm a eunuch. What a shame that he's already claimed by Wen Shitsi. Xie Yan is so handsome. I don't care, I can share. You insufferable women. Xie Yan has been castrated already. Xie Yan can no longer satisfy you without his thing, you fools. He is now a eunuch who serves our sect leader. Stop fantasizing about getting into his bed. So what if he is a eunuch? He's still more handsome than you ugly bastards. Indeed, I still want him. Me too. Make your picking when flowers are in bloom. Wait not till out of bloom to pick on twigs and sprigs in vain. Lady, please don't move. Flowers are meant for bialities, my lady. This peony flower suits you. Wow, so romantic. What about me? I want one too. It's such a great feeling to earn origin points with just my appearance. I can't believe that not even 100 origin points are enough to upgrade the finger of Nirvana. It is just too expensive, isn't it? Plus, people in the sect have gotten used to my handsomeness now. It's almost impossible to get any origin points now, even if I go out and try to incite some reactions from them every day. That evil woman, Xin Xinxi, is a cultivator on the ninth level of post-celestial stage. I will never be able to take revenge at this rate. I have to think of a new way to earn more points. How about? Two weeks later, somewhere in watching sect. Are you that person named Blue Joker who has a book about a secret cultivation skill for sale? Indeed I am. Here's a word of caution before you read my book, though. This book is so powerful that many disciples of our sect could hardly get out of bed after reading it. Is it really that good? The writing is breathtaking. It's got illustrations, too. You will understand once you've looked at a few pages. Oh, people will go crazy over this. Fifty tales of silver for one copy. How expensive. Forget it. I'll buy it. A strange book titled Shinsi the Young Maiden has been circulating within the Maching sect. The book is about the stories between Qin Shinsi and a cultivation vessel, and it's full of exquisite details. It's said that the book has even been introduced to people outside the Maching sect. Many young righteous cultivators who normally despise such an evil sect are offering a lot of money to get a look at it. She really is a demon. She's so good. Ahem. I mean, she knows no shame. Yes, indeed. We must read it through a critical lens. Qin Shinsi's residence. How dare they? My lady, what is this? How audacious. How dare they fantasize about you. I only have one cultivation vessel, Xie Yan. This writer even knows about that red mole on my waist. Who else could it be but him? I haven't earned so many origin points in a row for such a long time. Qin Shinsi is giving me as many origin points as that Pan Wei. Plus there are even pirated versions of my book now. It's being sold everywhere. I can understand why. The pornography in this world is nothing compared to what I've read before. But I am a bit unhappy to have my work plagiarized. Huh? Who is this Yu Hong Yan who's giving me so many origin points? She must appreciate me a lot to generate this many origin points. 
There are also some other origin points of appreciation. They seem to be all women. Are female readers beginning to take interest in me? I didn't know I could achieve this. Alas, I'm still so charming even when I'm only a character in a novel. I should hurry up and publish the second episode. Better take advantage of the first book's current popularity to collect even more origin points. Then I can sit back and watch origin points pile up. Much easier than earning origin points in person. Sect Leader's Residence Marching Sect Sect Leader, I will use Finger of Nirvana on you now. Wait. Huh. What's wrong with her today? She used to come and have me use the medical art on her immediately. I need to get ready. I see. Should I take my leave now and come back when you're ready? No need for that. I'm ready now. Okay. What is happening? She is acting weird today. Thirty minutes later. After I used the finger of Nirvana on her for a while, the sect leader said she would cultivate a loan to heal her injury and told me to give her another treatment later. Phew, I've got to find something to do to kill time. The sect leader is really a big fan of novels I see. There are so many books. I will choose a random book to read. Hey, this book is the wrong way around. I can't stand how messy it looks. You're becoming increasingly disrespectful. Don't mess with my stuff. Sect leader, have you finished cultivating? My injury is recovering well. You have worked hard these past few days, you may rest now. I see, I'll take my leave then. Good, I can have extra time to write my new book. By the way, I've heard about a novel that tells the story of Qin Shinsi and her cultivation vessel being popular in our sect lately. Although I have not read it myself, are you the author behind it, Blue Joker? Sect leader, I'm wrong, I have such a handsome face. Why would I ever write porn? It is a tasteless erotic book, but apart from those smutty sex scenes, the writing is actually really good. That blue joker knows women well, in particular, the story of lovers being separated by death, starting from the third paragraph on page 71. It's very moving. As I said, I have never read it myself, I just heard people discussing it. Wait, I know the sect leader's surname is Yu, but I never learned her first name. Is she Yu Hong Yen? It's good that it wasn't you who wrote it. Otherwise, I would have to punish you for the sake of Shinsi. You may leave now. If you have free time, you might as well write more. Ahem. I mean, read more books. Yes, my lady. Is she implying that I should not reveal my real identity and should write more books for her to read? I never thought that sect leader would enjoy my erotica too. I've really earned myself a special reader. This blue joker. No, Xie Yen does have some literary talent. I can't get enough of his writing. Oh my. It's still not enough. Just how many frickin' origin points does it take to upgrade the Finger of Nirvana to level 3? The Finger of Nirvana is really awesome. I can't believe I actually got it from a low-level martial arts world. Apparently, there are still a lot more secrets to be unearthed in these smaller worlds. That being said, the Finger of Nirvana is a healing skill, completely useless in a fight to the death. If I come across any danger, even if I can heal myself, wouldn't I just die in a single hit? My top priority is to obtain a martial art that will allow me to fight. Humph, I have to figure out a way to get one from the matriarch. One week later. Miss matriarch? I, I can't hold on much longer. Lately, when I put the finger of nirvana to full use, my back and legs hurt, my limbs go weak, and my body feels drained. Then you should stop for now, you must be suffering from a shortage of energy. I practice the guyang gong taught by Shinsi every day. How can I not have enough energy? And what use would an ability meant to reinvigorate a honeypot have? At most, you would only reach the first layer of the acquired realm by practicing it. It can't be helped, since you've been here all these days to heal me, it's time to give you some kind of reward. Reward? The gods are smiling upon me, these last few days of dropping hints weren't in vain. I'll pass on to you one of our finest martial arts, so as not to dishonor the legacy of the sect founder. One hour later. Skill input successful. Skill designation. Heavenly guard. Skill introduction. In the entire world, no matter how powerful someone is, none can surpass the heavens. With the heavens as your shield, there's no one who can break your defense. After cultivating it, you can expand your innate energy and strengthen your physical defense. Dang, I like the sound of that. But if it's just a passive martial art, won't I be unable to attack? Never mind, it's better than nothing. And I also managed to discover one of the system's benefits. As long as I can grasp and understand a skill, it can be inputted directly into the system thus there being no risk of me forgetting it. Although this martial art is an entry-level skill of the marching sect, the more you practice it the more challenging it becomes later on, 
No one in the whole sect has been able to fully master it, but it is easier to practice than other entry-level skills, making it more suitable for people like you with a shallow foundation. It's fine if you only practice it up to the introductory level, since you still need to focus on practicing the finger of nirvana. Ah, uh, Miss Matriarch, I have another favor to ask of you. What is it that you seek? Yesterday, Miss Matriarch told me that someone in the sect had written a romance novel, which is corrupting the atmosphere of the Maching sect. I checked into it and might have found a lead. Oh, then what is it that you want? Miss Matriarch, you have been so kind to me that I'll never allow anyone to ruin the reputation of the Maching sect. Please grant me a token and supervisory authority. I'll definitely ferret out this troublemaker. You really have some nerve. With just one glance, she put me under such enormous pressure. I almost forgot that she's the master of a sect, not just an ordinary young and avid reader. Catch. By holding on to this marching arcane command token, you'll have the same level of authority as me. I'll lend it to you for three days. You're now my personal servant, and you're also someone who's close to me. If you need anything else in the future, just tell it to me straight. There's no need for you to beat around the bush. Remember, I'm not fond of people by my side engaging in petty intrigue to try to outweed each other or myself. I understand. The sect master is nothing like the other girls in this sect. In return, it'd sure be great if the second volume of that novel got written a bit faster. I have a friend who would love to read it, after all. Understood. Once I catch the venerable stable lad, I'll whip him until he finishes the manuscript. As far as origin points are concerned, I always haggle over every penny. So it only stands to reason that in regard to my foes, I'll also not let anyone get away with it, even for the smallest grievance. Yo, isn't that Eunixia? Move along. Eunixia, besides running your mouth off, what else are you good for? Oh, Eunixia is sure to have many other uses, such as making women happy and making women happy. But how is he supposed to please women? His toy is missing, ha ha ha. He can still use his hands, can he? Ha. Hey there, Eunixia, come over and have some fun with us. Where are you going in such a rush? Didn't you hear me when I told you to move along? Stop acting high and mighty, Eunixia. You're just the sect master's servant. While we're disciples of the sect, the difference in status between you and us is beyond comparison. You have no right to order me around. Since you absolutely insist on dying, I'll be more than happy to oblige. I'll frickin' kill you. You, you, Xie Yen, you bastard. What the hell do you think you're doing? You actually beat up a disciple of the sect. Have you gone mad? The supervisor Anve of the Maching sect is here to enforce justice on behalf of the sect master, and you're still not on your knees? I harbor suspicions that you're the group who's been writing pornographic book under the assumed name of Venerable Stable Lad from the famous Autumn Mountain. Now I'll enforce justice on behalf of the matriarch and mete out your punishment. Venerable Stable Lad from the famous Autumn Mountain? That isn't me. I'm Enforcer Ye's eldest disciple. Do you dare to hit me? Enforcer Ye? Then I need to smack you up a bit more. The feeling of using my position to take my revenge is so rewarding. The supervisor envoy of the Maching sect is here to inspect your water meter. Welcome back home, my dear. It seems that news travels fast around here. At first, I wanted to play the same old trick to set her up but she kept such a low profile that I'd better come up with something else. Enough, don't waste my time with pleasantries. I'm here to investigate the case of the recent trend of pornographic books, not to have tea. My dear, if you'd like to inquire to me about something, then by all means, please do so. I'll be more than happy to tell you everything that I know. First question, what are your three sizes? Three sizes? What's that? Naturally, it's the size of your bust, waist, and hips. My dear, why don't you use your hands to measure my three sizes inch by inch? Preposterous, the sect master charged me with the heavy responsibility of seeing this investigation through. Please, show some self-respect. If you dare to use your feminine wiles to obstruct me again, I'll have you hang. To be honest, I don't really understand what these three sizes have to do with the current case. Then I'll change my question. This book is so painstakingly detailed that it's impossible that it wasn't written by someone close to you, isn't that right? How many honeypots do you have? Just one. Oh, I see. You have eleven. That's enough people to form a football team. No, wait, a kuju team. Not eleven, just one. Twenty-one? Dang, you're good. You didn't even leave out the bench? Don't play dumb. I've only ever had one honeypot and that is you, my dear. 
The one I gave my virginity to was you. 91? Good God. Xie Yen, you've gone too far. Whoa there, Qin Xin Si, could it be that you're trying to defy me? There's no one else here, so let's not beat around the bush. Clearly, it was you who wrote that book. Be careful, my lady, you don't have any proof. I'll sue you for slander. Earlier, I was just having a little joke with you, my lady, now we get down to business. I have a little favor to ask of you, my lady, of course. If you don't want to help me, then please don't blame me for it. Ha 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 ha. Inside the marching sect. There are a few guys at the fifth and sixth layer of the acquired realm who I still haven't acted out my revenge upon. If I fought them, I wouldn't even leave a scratch on them. But with Qin Xin Si by my side, I don't need to be afraid anymore. Long Si Hai, Qin Liuha and you guys are really shameless. With a single glance, I can tell that you aren't good people. So it must have been you who wrote that book, Qin Xin Si. Get them. How dare you pirate romance novels, Qin Xin Si. Smash it. Qin Xin Si. Give them hell. They closed up shop, Qin Xin Si. I choose you. Where are we going now? You're not going to force me to beat up the whole sect, are you? How could you think such a thing? I only have your best interests at heart, regardless of what it is that you're doing now. It's all on the sect master's instructions. You should catch my drift, right? By the way, do you remember Enforcer Yi? Yi Gutsun, get your ass out here. Qin Xin Si, I didn't go looking for you, but now you've come to provoke me? Yi Gutsun, this is all your fault. Because of you, my honeypot's virtuous body is gone. Now, I'm going to bring you to justice. Wonderful. Qin Xin Si drew that bullshit enforcer away without a hitch. I hope there's something valuable in this guy's room. I'll swipe it all away and give him an heart attack. No one would be so stupid as to disguise the switch of a secret compartment as a trinket on top of a bookshelf, right? Humph? What's that sound? Holy crap, there really is a hidden compartment. This guy is so vulgar that he even hid some women's underwear here. Even if I grab everything here, that guy wouldn't dare to tell anyone. If I don't take it all now, I'd be a fool. But what's up with this letter? Why was it put together with all these other valuables? This is... Wu Lingxian, the great elder of the Maqing sect, was the elder martial sister of the former sect master, and because of that one can even say that she holds a fairly high position. So you're saying that she along with Enforcer Yi and others are engaging in dealings to force me to abdicate, do you have any proof? Miss Matriarch, everything I told you is true. Enforcer Yi must be sucking up to the great elder. He's even secretly collecting her underwear. I didn't dare to take the secret letter for fear of inadvertently raising the alarm, but the underwear was quite odd, so I made a drawing of it from memory. And because of her, I ended up taking a big loss, since I had to put back all the valuables I got. Also, the underwear doesn't appear to have been made of silk, but of animal scales. As expected, it's Wu Lingxian's, she's the only one in the whole sect who wears this kind of snakeskin underwear. Me and the great elder have some differences in opinion, but I didn't imagine that she would dare to do such a thing at the risk of splitting up the sect. Wu Lingxian is completely delusional. As long as Miss Matriarch gives out the order, she'll be apprehended in a fraction of a minute. Things aren't as simple as you imagine. My master, the previous matriarch, passed away prematurely. When I was young, I ascended to the position. In addition, there are four elders in the Maqing sect whose martial arts are just a little inferior to my own. Each of them have their own factions and control most of the sect's valuable assets. They also pay lip service to the sect master, Great Elder Wu Lingxian, in particular, always felt that I had robbed her of her position as matriarch. Wu Lingxian is the head of the four great elders, and although I'm the matriarch, my actual power is severely limited. Miss Matriarch, you looked after me all this time, so I'll definitely stand by your side. I never imagined that at the moment of truth, I could only rely on a honeypot like you. In view of your words, if I'm able to bring the factions under control, I promise you that no one in the Maqing sect will pick on you ever again. Miss Matriarch, I'm not sticking with you on the same front just for the sake of benefits. Since I'm just a humble honeypot I can easily deceive anyone in the sect, you alone, Miss Matriarch, for all your grace, were the only one who never looked down on me or regarded me as a slave worse than a dog. It was thanks to you that I was able to see that there's still a shiny glimmer of light in this merciless world. If I don't show my gratitude, how can I call myself a man? The queen is a boulder, and I'm but a reed. The reed is as tough as silk, and the boulder is lin yielding. You, your mind is quite set on this, you should go for now. Then I'll be taking my leave now. I know that my cultivation is low and I'm of no use. 
but I'll do everything in my power to reach the point where I can help the matriarch out of her plight as soon as possible. The queen is a boulder, and I'm but a reed. The reed is as tough as silk, and the boulder is unyielding. Why does it sound like a love poem? I was finally riding on her coattails and now I've been dragged into the sex plot again. I don't seem to have any more time to waste writing porn. I have to quickly improve my strength. Otherwise, if I get caught up in this, I won't be able to fend for myself. A few days later. On the latest chapter of the young married woman Shinsi, Jean Shinsi's vermilion lips gently opened letting out a lovely moan. Her whole delicate body enveloped the honeypot, Xie Yen, and then... Suddenly a meteorite fell from the sky and killed the both of them whilst on the act. Isn't it wonderful when the end of the book reaches a happy ending? The marching sex matriarch's personal servant, Xie Yen. Your ass, this latest chapter is a load of crap. Not only that, how dare the author disclose his identity. He must have a death wish. For a while, the readers who couldn't accept how the eunuchs the young married woman Shinsi turned out were furious. Even the disciples who were stationed outside the sect rushed back and brought with them boxes full of death threats to demand an explanation from Xie Yen. However, what they didn't know was that Xie Yen was a eunuch who was castrated for trespassing into the ancestral shrine. And so, with nowhere to vent out their rage, the disciples became dumbfounded and annoyed. Xie Yen's Residence Excellent, I've gathered a great deal of origin points in one fell swoop. My preparations are almost complete. The next challenge is to practice the heavenly guard up to the introductory level. Although the system can instantly upgrade my skills, the most basic level level zero must be practiced in person, so I have no other choice but to work up a bit of a sweat for a while. The marching sect holds a regular sect meeting every month. In the past, the four great elders seldomly attended and only sent their disciples on their behalf, but this time, the great elder Wu Lingxian came in person. Gosh, if I want to quickly reach the introductory level of the heavenly guard, it would be best to get an expert to give me some personal guidance. It's too troublesome to practice it by myself. I'm very pleased that Elder Wu is willing to attend the meeting this time. Matriarch, I've returned to the sect to fulfill my duty as an elder. If the matriarch is handling her affairs in an inappropriate manner, it's only right that I should speak up and admonish her. Your personal servant Xie Yen intruded into the ancestral shrine without permission, but was only castrated. Aren't you afraid that if word gets out it will be hard to convince the masses? That's right, matriarch, your handling of this affair was biased. Ha, what a load of crap. They only want to further crack down on the matriarch's prestige, so that the neutral factions think that she can't even protect her own personal servant. If you don't kill Xie Yen, how will you appease the masses? I suggest that enforcer ye carry out the sentence. The matriarch has her own reasons. I don't think it's necessary to kill Xie Yen. Great elder, what do you mean by this? Don't you care about the rules of the marching sect? It's because of this internal strife that the sect has been gradually falling into decline. The sects in the Han Empire are known as the Nine Major Sects, and our marching sect has been at the bottom for many years. Enough, all of you. Shut up. Although Xie Yen trespassed into the ancestral shrine, with his virtuous body he has a natural aptitude that is difficult to find, so I decided to take him as an external disciple. It's difficult to come by such a gifted disciple. How could I possibly kill H.M. without a moment's thought? Virtuous body? Gifted? How do I know that you aren't exaggerating to protect your servant? When did the marching sect fall so low as to consider a honeypot a treasure? This is Shimer, my last direct disciple. She has only been practicing for three months, but has already reached the third layer of the acquired realm. In three days, she'll have a match with him, if he can hold a candle to her. I'll accept that he's indeed gifted and won't pursue this matter any further. Three months' third layer of the acquired realm? When it comes to practicing martial arts, Xie Yen has only just started, and it hasn't even been a month since he was used to drain life force. Hence, it would be rather unfair, so why don't we? Matriarch, we can't give in. I, Xie Yen, am unable to stand anyone being so disrespectful to you, compared to that. Whoever chickens out is a coward. Marching sect, martial arts training field. My lady, bad news, that guy is coming. It's you? Hey, my lady. Have you been practicing hard? Some time ago, you seemed to be having a great time riding near the young married woman Shinsi, so why don't you continue to do so, my dear? My lady, again with your jokes, it's obvious that someone set me up on purpose. Quit your nonsense, what do you want from me? Then I'll get straight to the point. I hope you can offer me some guidance in practicing the heavenly guard. I have no other choice, 
Personal guidance requires deep kinship and this matriarch was reluctant to do it, so I could only go to this girl for help. My lady, Xie Yen made a bet with the great elder that he would compete with her last direct disciple tomorrow. If Xie Yen loses, he will be punished in accordance with rules of the sect and be beheaded. It appears that you want to get something out of me? You shouldn't say such a thing. The two of us are in it together for better or worse. Woe is me. After they're done with me, you as the matriarch's lineal disciple will be Wu Lingxian's next target. So that childish silly you from before was really just an act. There's no harm in me teaching you, but what would be in it for me? Well, open your hand. How about I give you this for you to play with it? You. Don't get mad, I was just kidding, but I can promise you that there won't be any more sequels of the young married woman Shinsi. How about that? I don't want to continue to write porn anyway, so I'll just use that as a bargaining chip. Deal. Then let us start, by the way, return the grasshopper I gave you to me first. Now that it's in my hands, it's mine. Well, aren't you an odd one? You even covet a puny grasshopper? Just how greedy are you? What I just told you is how to circulate internal energy. You should get better at it with experience. My lady, you seem to have grown bigger again. If you have time to crack a joke, then it means you understood. But even if you understand the basics, you're still no match for Shuriener. Only if you achieve a minor achievement, will you have a chance to keep up with her for a few minutes. But how could something like that ever happen? Minor achievement? Chin Chinsi, you don't seem to get it. My martial arts talent is just like my face unparalleled in the whole world. My heavenly guard has finally reached the introductory level. Now let me have a look at my achievements as porn writing eunuch. System level, level 1. Realm, acquired realm, first layer, origin points, 154. Number of times you've entered another realm. 1. Not bad. Let me take a look at my skills. Skill mastery, Gu Yang Gong, level 2. Skill Mastery, Finger of Nirvana, Level 2. Skill Mastery, Heavenly Guard, Level 0. Current Effect, uses innate energy to nourish the body and slightly improves the body's defensive power. The Gu Yang Gong can no longer be upgraded. The Finger of Nirvana can't be upgraded for the time being, so I can only choose you. Heavenly Guard, give me my upgrades. Holy shit, I can feel it welling up all over. That was scary. Just now, it felt like I ate 50 kilograms of rice all at once. I felt incredibly dizzy. My whole body feels a little numb, probably an after effect of upgrading too fast. My god, holy crap. My strength changed so much that I'm having a hard time controlling it. Oh no, the mirror? Where's the mirror? I have to look at myself. Ha ha, there it is. Oh my, holy shit. Mamma mia, this is some upgrade. I can barely recognize myself. Generally speaking, when a martial art that strengthens physical defense is practiced to the extreme, it will cause some changes to the body. A person's whole body will expand by one or two sizes. His muscles will grow all over the place and things like that. But it's not so bad. At least, I didn't become a bodybuilding freak and my extreme handsome is still there. Even though my appearance hasn't changed much, I've definitely been reborn, system panel. I reached the third layer of the acquired realm? Just like that? Expand, let me see how many levels the heavenly guard has gone up. I can't believe it upgraded all the way over the level cap. Looking at the effect description, it's indeed very powerful, and I won't take any damage until I've used up all of my innate energy. Even better, it's a passive skill. If I can learn another martial art that quickly recovers innate energy, I'll truly become invincible. Even though this cost me 140 origin points, it was completely worth it. If in a single night, I broke through two layers and reached the third layer of the acquired realm, how much further will I go next, the next day? Did you hear? Both of the parties involved in this competition aren't trifling on any account. One of them is Xie Yen, the matriarch's personal servant, and the other is a great elder's lineal disciple. Do you mean that genius who reached the third layer of the acquired realm with only three months of practice? The very same. Why is that dickless bastard Xie Yen fighting with the great elder's last direct disciple? Who did you say was a dickless bastard? You guys are just jealous that Xie Yen is more handsome than you. No matter how handsome he is, he's still a eunuch. Incredibly, no one has found out that I've reached the third layer of the acquired realm. The system conceals its power quite well. Hey, the match is about to start. Stop drifting off. 
Also, you, you'd better give up now. Once I start fighting with other people, I turn into a completely different person. I don't want to hurt you. The marching sect is packed with all kinds of sluts, bitches, bookworms, and now there's even such a pure, gentle and adorable little miss. Little miss, feel free to attack me, even though your cultivation level is relatively high. I'm a man after all, and I'm sure I can handle you for over a stick of incense. Here I go. Don't fall over so soon, I'm just getting started. Let me enjoy myself to my heart's content. Great elder this is. It's true that Yenner is exceptionally talented, but what's most remarkable about her is that she seems to possess a very special bloodline. Once in combat, she'll enter a berserk state, turning her into a natural fighter worthy of being called a goddess of war. Miss, you had the jump on me. Is it over? The fight is really ruthless, but when I think that the one who's being thrashed is Xia Yen, why do I feel so at ease? Per Xia Yen, yeah, sure Yenner is too cruel. How could she hit Xia Yen like that? He's so cute. It hurts a little bit, but with the heavenly guard protecting me, I haven't suffered any major damage, it's just that. When I was taking a beating, why did it feel so rewarding? Could it be? That's the martial art intent essence that only appears when one fully masters the heavenly guard? How's that even possible? He didn't even know the basics last night. It's no wonder that Xia Yen managed to withstand the beating. He's fully mastered the Heavenly Guard. That's really odd. I read in a book that when a person fully mastered the Heavenly Guard, a heavenly gate would appear before one's very eyes. Why the heck are there three of them behind this guy? Didn't you say that he sucked at martial arts? Little miss. Come on, I, Xia Yen, have never hit a woman in my entire life. So you can fight at ease. I'll not hit back. Let me give that a try once again. Wow, how cool. So manly. Xia Yen is the best. I think so too. What's this bull about never hitting a woman, my lady? Xia Yen clearly hit me. Yeah, that's the stuff. As expected, it's just as I felt before, because I've just advanced to the third layer of the acquired realm. My innate energy is in turmoil and my foundation is unstable. Her attacks calm the turmoil and the flow of my innate energy and make my foundation more stable. So much so that after the pain is gone, the place where she hit me feels wonderful because the flow of energy gets unblocked. It's just like, I'm being massaged by a veteran of traditional Chinese medicine. What's up with that face? Come on. Keep going. More. More 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 more. Even though Xia Yen is the one being beaten up, why does it appear that Miss Yenner is the one getting pushed back? Not only did he fully master his heavenly guard, he's also advanced to the third layer of the acquired realm, that went Chu Hong Yen, she hid him quite well. Don't stop, keep going. Oh no. The stick of incense ran out. Finger of Nirvana. I've been fighting him for so long, and yet it's already over. Huh, what happened to my hands? I've also recovered most of my innate energy. I've healed your hands and recovered your innate energy using my finger of Nirvana. Now come get me. I, I think I'll pass. Little miss, you're so young. Why are you being so lazy? If you can't even beat the crap out of me without me even moving, how are you going to fight against outsiders for the sake of the sect? Come. Smack me right here. The marching sect doesn't need kind-hearted people. If you don't dare to fight me, you're not worthy of protecting the sect. You bully. I don't want to fight you anymore. Yenner. Xie Yen, you disgraced my disciple. Go to hell. Wu Lingxian, how dare you be so impudent? Humph. Your injury has healed. And you even made further progress? The stick of incense has already burned out a long time ago. Hence... This battle is Xia Yan's victory. Who else has any objections? The sect master is without equal. Who would ever dare to disagree? This Xia Yan was able to master the heavenly guard to such an unprecedented level. How could he only be a trivial pawn? Matriarch, you duped me big time. My lady Xia Yan, he? Didn't that dickless scumbag Xia Yan know nothing about martial arts before now? So how did he keep quiet? Now I get it. Xia Yan must be a pawn that the sect master prepared long ago. The matriarch's wisdom is as deep as the ocean, and this punk is terrifying. This time, because of Shir Yenner's trashing, not only did my foundation completely stabilize, but I also gained a heap of origin points. It was really a good haul. What's up with the matriarch? Today's martial arts competition ends here. All disciples, return to your practice, henceforth. None is to voice any complaints against Xia Yen. 
mocking sex matriarchs in a court. Miss Matriarch, I did a good job today. Miss Matriarch, what's wrong? At first, 70% of the injuries had been healed. But today when I went all out against Wu Lingxian my internal injuries acted up again. Don't worry Miss Matriarch, I'll heal you right away. Xia Yen, your finger of nirvana has become stronger this time. I recovered much faster than before. Probably because I mastered the heavenly guard and reached the third layer of the acquired realm, the power of the finger of nirvana also improved. Oh shit, I carelessly used it at full power. The heavenly guard is famous for being easy to learn and difficult to master. No matter how much of a genius you are, it's impossible to achieve full mastery in such a short time. Well, about that. Maybe it's the sect founder's blessing. She couldn't stomach seeing the great elder humiliating you like that, so she stepped up to help me from behind the scenes. Is that so? Then I'll believe you for now. I overdid it with the drama there. Fortunately, she didn't dig any deeper. Miss Matriarch, what are you thinking about? I was thinking about what I should do next currently. The sect is in a state of unrest. Miss Matriarch, your injuries are getting better. So what does one trifling great elder matter? That old hag is just cowering in fear and trying to keep afloat. Otherwise, you would have destroyed her in the twinkling of an eye. You make it sound so simple. First off, Wu Lingxian was exercising forbearance because I was seriously injured and had not yet recovered. Now that she found that I'm in better condition, judging by her personality, it's very likely that she'll join hands with the other three elders to take decisive action. Secondly, even though my martial arts and my heyday were better than those of the four elders, they were only so by a small amount. I'd be no match for them if the four of them joined forces. Lastly, my injuries aren't as trivial as you think they are. There's no way for the finger of nirvana to heal the root cause. Every time you use the finger of nirvana on me, I can feel its effect getting smaller and smaller. This time, you managed to heal my internal injuries. However, I only fear that its crux is getting used to the finger of nirvana's power. For a long time, I've lived indoors in order to recover from my injuries. This has led to me drifting apart from the people of the sect. Up until now, the severity of my injuries has gotten worse time and time again, making me unable to fight for long periods of time. At this time, if the great elder winds over power, you and I will be in grave danger. Don't worry, Miss Matriarch. I'll do everything in my power to heal you, no matter what that old hag does. We'll face it together. As expected, the finger of Nirvana at level 2 is far less powerful in the main world than in the world of Yunshan. However, if level 2 isn't enough, then I'll just upgrade it to level 3. If you really mean it, then I'd be very pleased. I have the same surname as the sect founder, you, and my maiden name is Hong Yan. Later, when no one's around, you can call me Sis Yu. Sis Yu. So the mysterious reader was the sect master all along. This time, you went all out to defeat the great elder's direct disciple, which gave me a lot of prominence within the sect. What would you like as your reward? Sis Yu is indeed being very generous to me. If you want to reward me, you might as well grant me another set of martial arts skills. If the great elder gets up to no good, I can be of help to you. So you've made up your mind. However, the martial arts I have here are all for the women's side of the sect, so they aren't suitable for men to practice. The only one I had which was, is the heavenly guard I handed over to you before. Take it easy, I didn't say I wouldn't give you anything. Here, take this. This is the token for the Sutra Pavilion. If it's a skill from there, you can choose any one you like. Thank you, sis you. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, Xie Yin. Do you understand this principle? Of course, I understand what you mean, sis you. You'd better keep a low profile from now on. After all, you've offended Wu Lingxian. If she finds a reason to kill you, even if I go find her to get revenge afterwards, I won't be able to save you. Don't worry, sis you. I'll be careful to not provoke the great elder any further. I hope you really understand. I'm in a pretty dangerous situation right now. Even I'm worried about my life. Will we get the last laugh and hang on until the end? I understand. Then I'll be heading back now. Leave. I thought Yu Hongyan's injuries would never get better. I didn't expect her to somewhat recover her strength now. Is it possible that she ran across a fortuitous encounter? Master, Xia Yan has a fingering technique which allows him to restore the vast majority of another person's innate energy and injuries. Is it possible that he... Xia Yan, that bastard. It seems I can't have him running around any longer. After I was done with Qin Shi Tsi. Wu Lingxian appeared, and she's even more ruthless than her. When it all comes down to it, I'm just not strong and powerful enough. Now that I've been marked by that old hag, 
I can't get anything done in the Maching sect, I can't soak up any origin points, so my back is against the wall. The system's realm travel function has been on cooldown this whole time and I don't know when I'll be able to use it. And the origin points that I was harvesting due to my lofty win against Shriener have also stagnated, huh? The realm travel function's cooldown period has ended, do you wish to use it? I have to quickly find a far-off place to use it. Secluded location. The random world finder has found the world of Qianming. To travel to this world, 18 origin points will be spent, activating realm travel function, calculating route. Do you wish to travel to the discovered world of Qianming? I seem to recall that a while ago, the world of Yunshan only used up 8 origin points, and now the second world is using up 18 origin points. Will the price go up even higher later? Forget it. Whatever the price, I still have to go. The main world is too dangerous. I'll lie low until the wind blows over for now. Click. 18 origin points have been used. Realm travel function activated. The Qianming Empire. Xie Yan is the contemporary hall master of the city of Haijiao's God Fist Hall, where he has honed his fist techniques. His accomplishments in martial arts are unmatched all over the city. At the same time, he also has exceptional martial arts ethics. He's well known throughout the entire country and is the key figure of the city of Haijia. Xie Yan Yu. We invited you out of courtesy, and you do this? Is this your country's so-called etiquette? Our people's custom has always been to offer good wine to good guests and chase away evil dogs with clubs. That said, your union's so-called cyborgs only amount to this much. Humph, Mr. Xie, have you taken into consideration our proposal for our Ying Qian Grand Competition half a month from now? As long as I'm open and just... I'll go to the challenge arena to show you all the true martial arts of Qianming. Ha, I'm looking forward to your performance. Master, that was a beautiful strike. That's right, Master. When will you teach us that move? Master? These union cyborgs are very powerful. No matter how strong someone is, there's always someone stronger. Don't underestimate the cyborgs. Even I, your master, struggled with all my might and sustained a few injuries before I could bring him down. Things aren't looking good for the competition in half a month. But we can't falter. The Union wants to make use of this match to suppress the spirit of our countrymen. We must fight and show our country's might. The next day. I can't believe that yesterday's match injured my heart meridian. Just a single cyborg is already this powerful and I've heard that there are tens of thousands of them within the Union. Master, the medicine is ready. Eldest disciple of the God Fist Hall, Lu Yuntao. Yuntao. How thoughtful you've been, in recent days you as the eldest disciple, have helped me teach the disciples how to fight. Alas, yesterday, when Master had returned to his room to rest, someone shouted that martial arts are out of date. No matter how much you practice, you can't compete with science. Some of the disciples have even left the school for fear of the Union's reprisal. Is it? No wonder they're teachers. The medicine. There's poison in the medicine. Master, it was me who put it. Yun Tao, I've always done my very best to hold you in the highest regard. How could you poison me? Master, times have changed. Master, you really did treat me well, and I've never had any intention of killing you. This medicine will only make you lose your strength. I'll give Master the antidote once the Inchian Grand Competition is over. The Empire is destined to be vanquished by the Union. No matter how powerful our fists and feet are, they can't surpass their aircraft and artillery. It's better to surrender as soon as possible and focus on our new lives in the future instead of wasting them on a meaningless struggle. Not bad, not bad at all, Mr. Liu. You're so young but you already have this fine sense of ideological awareness, much better than some old fogies who don't allow for progress. It's just me that Mr. Liu is still being too indecisive. Xie Yen, surrender now, or I'll blow your head off. Me? Surrender? You little punk, how stubborn. I'll murder you right now. Wait, don't shoot, please. Give me one more day. Just one more day. I know my master's temperament best. Let me persuade him. For Mr. Lu's sake, I'll spare you this time. Take him back to the harbor base. Master, please understand that this is the only way to save the empire. By surrendering to the enemy and selling out your own country for power and wealth? How is this to save the country? We've seen with our own eyes how the Union's giant warships and artillery like a hot knife cutting through butter, take our cities and conquer the land. Although our martial artists are strong, they're only made out of flesh and blood. Learning martial arts can't save the Qianming Empire. And is it okay to kneel down and beg like a dog like you? 
To submit to the Union is to allow the country to perish, but to not do so would be genocide. The fall of the empire is already set in stone and can't be stopped. Please, master, for the sake of future generations, submit to the Union. If we show our worth, collaborate with the Union and wait for an opportunity, we might be able to save our country. Lu Yuntao, you might be proficient in all kinds of martial arts, but why don't you understand such a simple principle? The country might fall, the people might perish, but never should you submit. As long as the nation stands, there's hope for a comeback, but by submitting, it will no longer rise up ever again. Get the fuck out of my sight. From today on, our master and disciple relationship is over. Time has run out, master, won't you take a moment to think it over? Later, I'll come by again to try to convince you. Lu Yuntao, oh Lu Yuntao, you want to save the country by collaborating? That's just a spineless excuse to cling to your life. In my generation's creed, there's no mention of giving up. If we can't have that, then we'd rather stand honorably than walk on a crooked path. As long as all my countrymen have the courage to resist and to never bow down, one day we will drive out the Union and rise to our former glory. It's too bad. I won't get to see that day. World of Qian Ming, Imperial Grandmaster, Xia Yan, Soul Replacement Succeeded. Beginning memory import, memory import completed. We'd rather stand honorably than walk on a crooked path, is it? Well said, die rather than submit, I've received your will. The original owner was indeed worthy of being called a national hero. I just came here and haven't even done anything yet, but I'm already harvesting a bunch of origin points. The level of martial arts in this world is very low, far inferior to those in the main world, but to me it's like taking candy from a baby. The original owner was really determined. I can't stop the blood. Let me start by using the finger of Nirvana. Incredible. All the toxins and injuries disappeared with a single use. Not only that, I can't believe it feels so good. No wonder the matriarch found it hard to contain herself. Wait a minute. That's not right. Since I'm in a state of soul crossing, shouldn't my abilities from the main world be sealed? Why was I able to use the finger of Nirvana? System panel. Come out. Show me my skills. As expected. I can't use the heavenly guard or the yang strengthening method. But why can I use the finger of nirvana? What could be the reason? Since the finger of nirvana is a secret immortal method, it is imprinted into the user's soul and is therefore not subject to any restrictions. The finger of nirvana is incredible. It really does seem I was extremely lucky in getting it in the world of Yunshan. Hold on, what the hell is this thing? How come I've never seen this national soul title before? What does this mean? Soon after the user switched with the target in the world of the Son of God, the title system was unlocked. In this world, the user can obtain a title if certain conditions are met. Each title has its own unique and powerful abilities. Sounds interesting. What are the conditions for the National Soul title to be unlocked? And what will its effects be after it is? The user should find that out by himself. Loading quest. When the Inchian Grand Competition half a month from now, Make eldest disciple Lu Yuntao regret his betrayal from the bottom of his heart and make the Union dare not invade the Empire ever again. After the quest is completed, you can return with all the power you've gained in this world, otherwise you'll get nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? How am I supposed to find that out? And you gave me so many quests under the guise of a single one. First off, let me upgrade the skill that the original owner of this body used. If I can increase my combat power, then I should do so as much as I can. It only took six origin points to go over the level cap. The martial arts in this world are really cheap. But I suppose that even though I upgraded the fist of God over the level cap, it still can't stop bullets. They have no idea that my poison has been detoxified, so maybe I can. Master, have you finally come around? There's an old saying in your Qianming Empire that I'm quite fond of, and it's known as he who is wise knows the times. I welcome you. Many years from now you will rejoice in the decision you made today. Rejoice. Rejoice your ass. Hey, tell them to give me a way out, or I'll crush your throat. Let him through. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Master, calm down. Hey, you, that's right, I'm talking to you. Why are you still standing about? Do you want me to kill your officer? All of you, listen to him. Step back. Looking at my surroundings, the base was built into the harbor, so as long as... There was a sniper lying in wait. Thanks to the finger of Nirvana, as long as they don't blow my head to smithereens, I won't die. Open fire, open fire now. Colonel, he, he's actually. What about him? 
He's nothing more than a backward Xianning martial artist. Although the Fist of God is far inferior to the martial arts in the main world, after upgrading it above the level cap, it has increased my strength by a substantial amount. Here you go. What a stunning amount of origin points. Awesome. Fist of God. Piercing wooden kick. Fist of God. Iron mountain thrust. We, we hit him. It frickin' hurts. But you can't kill little old me with only this. Guns don't kill him? Is, is this the martial arts of Qian Ming? I'll smash your head in before I make off. Someone, someone help me. Fist of God, gobsmacking force. There's, there's no way that master's fist of God is this powerful. Traitorous disciple, your fist of God is pretty good. You've almost fully mastered it. It's too bad that. It still falls short. Wonderful. The cyborgs are here. Get him. Grab that monster. Don't let him get away. My body is already having difficulty coping with those ordinary firearms. Now with these bunch of cyborgs on top of that, I'll be in trouble if I get in a confrontation with them. Looks like I have to give them the slip, however. I will return. That guy jumped into the sea and escaped. Get on the speedboats and look for him. He crippled my hands with a single punch. This can't be, unless, he broke through the bottleneck and reached the legendary realm of God of Martial Arts. What God of Martial Arts bullshit are you on about? You people of Qian Ming really like to exaggerate. At best, he's reached the cyborg's level, and like a craven dog, took advantage of the chaos to escape. Had he escaped a little bit more slowly, he would have met with the top-class cyborgs in the Union and turned into dead meat. Mr. Liu, I'm going to open your eyes today. Open fire! This, this. Not only are our Union's guns immensely powerful, but we also have impenetrable defenses to match it. Not only that, but the Union also has far more powerful weapons than mere handheld firearms. This, even if we were to reach the realm of God of Martial Arts, we could never hope to match this power. Mr. Liu saved me just now and has proven his loyalty, and the Union is always generous to its friends. Mr. Liu, martial artists, such as yourself, will only become stronger after becoming a cyborg. Besides, only by accepting the transformation can your arms be restored to their original state and not become disabled. I, I, I accept. That's right, Mr. Liu. When the time comes, you will represent the Union and thoroughly crush the martial artists of Qian Ming. Modern firearms are still a handful to deal with. If I didn't have the finger of Nirvana, I would have died ten times back there. The level of power in this world is very low. I reckon that even though that same level of power can topple mountains and rend the earth here, it would only peel the paint off a few walls in the main world. Looking at it from another angle, the main world has its merits. In this world, the Heavenly Guard may be able to stop bullets. Though I'd still need to practice the Heavenly Guard once again. The good thing is that I have already practiced it once before, so there's still time to reach the introductory level before the competition. Since I ran amok in the base, even the enemy is providing me with origin points. Not bad, not bad at all. Half a month later, Inchian Grand Competition. Go get him, Master Qin. Hit him. Teach that traitor a lesson. Ah, uh, Master Qin was defeated in a single round. After Liu Yutao accepted being turned into a cyborg, he could instantly dispatch such an accomplished grandmaster as Master Qin. It looks like it's up to me to teach the traitor a lesson today. Old fools should stay in their graves and not crawl out to make a fool of themselves. Liu Yuntao. You, you brute, what do you think you're doing? Oh my god, that was an instant kill. He didn't even have the chance to do anything. Look, this is the power of the Union's science and technology. Two of the finest martial arts grandmasters selected from all over the city of Haijiao can't even withstand a single move from the Union's cyborgs. The Empire is really done for. We should heed Liu Yintao's advice and surrender as soon as possible. No, we're still not done. We still have Master Xie Yen, in the city of Haijiao. He's known as the strongest. At a young age, Master Xie Yen had surpassed everyone in martial arts. Give it up. Didn't Xie Yen turn tail and run when he got hit by firearms half a month ago? And Xie Yen hasn't shown up for such a long time that he's either dead or too afraid to come. Nonsense. He's only a mere cyborg. On that day at the Union's base, I was alone face to face with hundreds of people, hundreds of guns, but was I ever afraid then? That voice, look over there. Master? I'm sorry you too, 
in order to gather enough origin points to upgrade the Heavenly Guard, I was late. I'll carry on your will, to overthrow the Union, to win back our mountains and rivers, to restore our land, and to show our country's might. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. It's Master Xia Yin, he's here. He came just in time, the more people put their hopes on him, the more despair they'll be in when he's knocked down. We just have to calmly wait for Mr. Lu to bring us the good news. Lu Yuntao. Look at yourself, you're not even human anymore, is this what you wanted? So as to bring about a quick end, and force everyone to give up their resistance, I was left with no choice but to do this. Now that it has come to this, I can't look back anymore. Make your move, master. You only know how to use brute force after becoming a cyborg? Whatever happened to everything I taught you? I couldn't take your punch last time, but now that I'm a cyborg, I'm not afraid of your power anymore. Just the power I gained from the mere half a month it took me to become a cyborg would take you twenty years of excruciating practice to obtain. This is the power of science and technology. Foolish disciple, don't get too full of yourself. Fist of God, hands of the demise. You only became a little bit stronger, and you got so proud of yourself. You lost every speck of humility of a martial artist. Yun Tao, you're a disappointment for your master. Mr. Liu, use this weapon. Shameless, that's cheating. Isn't this a martial arts hand-to-hand competition? Why is he using weapons? No matter how strong martial arts are, the body is still only made of flesh. Under this kind of firepower, no matter who it is, it will only be ripped to shreds. Heavenly Guard. In the past half month, I managed to gather more than 100 origin points. Although it wasn't enough for me to upgrade the Heavenly Guard above the level cap, it was more than enough to upgrade it to level 5. With this world's level of power, the defensive capabilities of the Heavenly Guard at level 5 are far beyond those in the main world. As such, I'm no longer afraid of bullets. No, this can't be happening. Even the city tower can't stop guns. How could anyone resist them with their bare body? Even though guns are powerful and can be used to conquer cities and take over the land, they're only outside aids after all. A truly power-feeling person is one who has a strong and unyielding will. With such a will, even an old man can move mountains. If you do not bend your will, only then you will be ever victorious. This is the realm of God of martial arts, do you understand? Well said, Grandmaster Sia. Well done, the Union's technology can't stand a single blow. The martial arts of Qianming aren't as backward as the Union of England make them out to be, they still hold promise, enough for the Qianming to hold sway over the whole world. Heavenly Guard Grandmaster Sia Do you see? Even if you practice martial arts to such a degree, you can't beat the Union's technology. Everybody, this pointless struggle shouldn't go on any further. If you don't resist, you won't have to sacrifice yourselves anymore. Submit to the Union as soon as possible and accept their enlightenment. Damn it, they even have such shady technology as handheld rail guns? Ha ha ha, what god of martial arts? Before our Union's rail guns, everything is but trash. What a despicable sneak attack. There's no need to talk about chivalry with you lowly races. Titan, he shouldn't be dead yet. Go finish him off. Roger. I won't allow you to hurt Grand Master Sia. Little girl, even your god of martial arts was already half killed by our Titan's railgun. How dare you stand in front of him? Aren't you afraid you'll die? I'm very afraid. But I'm even more afraid that I'll lose my will to fight back. Grand Master Sia said that only when someone had a strong and unyielding will would they be unstoppable. Now I'm no longer afraid. Go to hell, what can you change with your little body? You still have me. And me, count me, Su Yang in two, I, Song Shao Kong, have never done anything worthwhile in my entire life. But this time I'll become a man. What's going on? What's happened with these ignorant Qian Ming people? Weren't they as docile as cattle before? Why are they acting like this today? I've finally gathered enough origin points to reach level 6. Look at the sky. What's that? The color of the sky is changing. Thank you, everyone for standing in front of me. Now, leave the rest to me. Oh my god! That's just an illusion, all of you, on your feet. Open fire. Get rid of all these heretics. Do you think the same trick will work on me twice? Fire. Keep firing. Don't let up. Don't let him come any closer. What's the matter? 
Is this all your firepower? It's not even enough to tickle me. Ha, the Union's so-called world-dominating firearms only amount to this much. The Union's so-called invincible cyborgs are nothing more than chicks when faced with the martial arts of Qian Ning. People of the Union, do you see it now? Our dignified country is one of tidy clothes and courteous manners, but in our moment's neglect, you barbarians took advantage of us whilst we were soundly asleep. Now that we're gradually waking up, it's time to sweep away you vile fiends and rise once again to the top of the world. So it turns out that there was such a realm of martial arts. Our empire's martial arts won't lose out against the Union's science and technology. Yun Tao, do you repent? Master, I was wrong. I'll get the people of the empire back on their feet. As for you, atone for your sins with your life. Title unlocked. Huh. Why did it unlock? Title, National Soul, unlocked, one half, current effect. You've accepted the belief that a nation should protect its country. The cost of all your defensive skills have been reduced by 90%. Unlock conditions. Punish a national traitor so as to awaken the nation's spirit. Completed. The cost of defensive skills is reduced by 90%. What an incredible effect. Just recently. I was still worried that if the Union had enough people and guns, I'd be swarmed by shelling and die sooner or later, now there's no need to worry about that anymore. Grandmaster Xia, you're really, God's chosen, the hero who was sent from heaven to aid the Qian Ming Empire. Grandmaster Xia, this is... This is the manuscript for the skill I just used. A moment ago, you were the first one who had the guts to step forward, not bad at all. From today onwards, you're the chief disciple of the god Fist Hall. You need to spread this martial art, the Heavenly Guard, to every martial artist within the Empire to make them as fierce as dragons. The level of martial arts in this world is really too low, and I'm going to be leaving after all, so leaving them the Heavenly Guard can be seen as a small contribution. This, how could I accept such an important assignment? I'm sure you can handle it. Now go. The battle just now I made me gain some insight, so let me circulate my energy and meditate here for a little while. I'll definitely live up to your expectations. It'll take time for them to cultivate the Heavenly Guard. In the meantime, I have to completely obliterate the Union's military bases in Xianning. The nation's practice of high-level martial arts will only allow martial artists to gain the resolve to rebuild the nation's confidence. For the people of Qianming to live a better life, the power of science and technology is also indispensable. If Qianming wants to hold sway over the whole world, they'll have to, along with their martial arts, either develop their own technology or invade the Union and steal theirs, I really don't know what this world will be like in the future, but the name of Xia Yan, God of Martial Arts, will live on in legend. Commander, there's an incoming call from the lab. Commander, we've figured it out. Unbelievably, he can use an unknown energy to form a defensive force field around him. The Empire's martial arts really does have its wonders. I didn't ask you to come here to study how powerful the Empire's martial arts are, but to find a way to deal with him. When he was hit by the railgun, the defensive force field around him showed a visible change, so there's definitely a way to defeat him. If we take a closer look here, when he was hit by our railgun, the defensive force field protecting his body suddenly dropped by 25%. As long as the same attack hits HM four times, no, five times, five times will surely breach his defensive force field. Relay my orders to all personnel. Immediately mobilize ten top-class cyborgs to form a special task force to encircle and annihilate Xia Yen. If they're not enough, then just dispatch some more. This person has become a thorn in our union's side and must be eradicated as soon as possible. Reporting, sir. All soldiers of the 1st and 2nd battalions have been assembled. Good. I believe all of you have already received the order to eliminate Xia Yen. You may wonder. Why do we need to mobilize so many force to deal with a single imperial martial artist? Before now, I too would have expressed such disbelief. However, it was this very man who killed all our soldiers and cyborgs who were present during the Inchian Grand Competition. As such, we didn't hesitate to deploy ten Thunderbolt-class cyborgs here to encircle and annihilate Xia Yen with us. We can't let our guard down. We're going to have to pull out all the stops to finish this one. Everyone, get out of the way. What the hell is going on? It's Xia Yen. Xia Yen is here. How's it going, my friends from the England Union? Xia Yen, you're digging your own grave. Fire, pound him with everything we got. 
Bring him down. It seems that my friends from the England Union are all fired up. How is it possible that bullets don't hurt him at all? What kind of monster is he? Is he a cyborg too? Where the hell are the Thunderbolt class cyborgs? Why aren't they here yet? They're here. The Thunderbolt class cyborgs are here. All Thunderbolt class cyborgs, follow my orders. Take aim at Xia Yin. Blast him. We got him. No, it can't be. He's still singing, monster, monster. No, this can't be happening. All of you, advance, kill him, kill him. Stop him, stop him. Send out the tanks. Xia Yen, this is a Union military base, and you're but a single person. There's no way for you to contend with our entire army. The tanks are here. Your fate is sealed. Oh? It doesn't look very strong? My god. Now, let me tell you something. What you're standing on isn't a Union military base, but the land of the Qianming Empire. Remember, we're the hosts here and you're only uninvited guests. Now, on behalf of the millions of the Qianming Empire, I people have just want to say one thing to you. Get the fuck out of our land! The Air Force branch had all bombers take off carrying Hellfire bombs. Their destination is our military base in the city of Haijiao. The target is Xia Yin, a man from Qianming. Don't worry about anything. Once I catch sight of Xia Yin, I'll immediately blow him to pieces. I'm receiving a steady stream of origin points. Looks like all that trouble is paying off. I fear that if I hadn't shown powers far beyond human limits, I wouldn't have got this many origin points. It's too bad that I won't have this unprecedented opportunity to play God and grind these mobs once I return to the main world. However, the quest is to keep the Union from invading the Empire, and with the Union's power. I suppose that their desire for the Empire's land won't disappear unless they're beaten back to the Stone Age. This will be a long war and no matter what I do, I'll still have to stay for another four or five years, so there will be plenty of opportunities ahead. The original owner's identity has been a huge asset to me, so as a matter of course, I'll fulfill his last wish. Now, let me cut off the Linian's tentacles slithering across the Empire. I've killed almost all of their soldiers. As long as I get rid of their commander as well, the first step of my plan will be a flawless success. I interrogated this officer a moment ago, and found out their commander is hiding below ground. An air raid? Humph, they don't have enough firepower on the ground, so now they've called in the Air Force to try their luck at bombing? I surely won't be able to defeat the planes by running around, and it seems that I've already demolished everything I could use as a bunker in the surrounding area. I still haven't unlocked the fight against guided missiles with your bare body achievement in this world. So let us see which is tougher. Your union's bombs. Or my fist. What? Goodness, it didn't even explode. Don't tell me that your union's bombs are just for show. I take back what I said, they're the real deal. Sure enough, it's really easy for the grinding to get to your head. Now is not the time to play around fighting guided missiles with my bare body. I can't believe that my innate energy was used up in an instant and my heavenly guard was blown away. And this is with the 90% usage cost reduction effect of National Soul on the Heavenly Guard. Fortunately, the Finger of Nirvana can also recover my energy. Otherwise it would have been game over for me. I can't believe it. He's still not dead. Pulverize him. Drop all of the remaining bombs. Damn it. They're throwing so many of them at the same time. For the sake of killing me, they don't even care about their own base. Under this kind of relentless bombardment. I don't have enough time to cast my finger of nirvana and will get blown to smithereens. It seems that it's time to call it quits on the quest and return to the main world. I refuse to accept this. This trip was for nothing. I was really blinded by my greed, because I wanted to show off in order to harvest more origin points. I almost lost my life. I'll be sure to learn my lesson next time. Title unlocked. The title has been fully unlocked, and the power of all my defensive skills have been doubled? In that case, the situation now is completely different. Since I can't run off, then I shouldn't. After all, I still need to calmly clean up this godawful mess in Xianming. The combination of the finger of Nirvana's ability to heal my body and recover my energy without limit with the now double power of the Heavenly Guard means that, in this world, 
I'm invincible. There isn't even any ashes of him left at the center of the blast. This is the end of your opposition against the Union. Ha ha ha. Impossible. Is he a demon? How the hell could he still be alive? No, I haven't lost yet. Xia Yan may be powerful, but it will still take him some time to breach this underground base. That's right, our great Union still hasn't lost yet. This is only a temporary retreat. As long as we can figure out how Xia Yan's body produces such power, we can immediately. It looks like the underground base where the commander is hiding is here. Are you ready? Here I come. Still not enough. If I want to catch that commander, I have to go deeper. You, you. What the hell kind of demon are you? I'm the harbinger of your doom. Done, later, as soon as I unify Qian Ming, I'll invade the Union and completely beat them back to the Stone Age to thoroughly complete the quest. The user has completed the quest. The reward is 200 origin points. In 10 seconds, the user will be returned to the main world. Please make preparations. What? The quest is done. The hell? Without me, the people of Qian Ming have no hope of standing up against the Union? How could the quest be completed? No, don't take me away. I still haven't amassed enough origin points. My precious harvest, my magnificent sustainable development plan. I don't wanna. Following the change of the world's natural law, the formidable power of all of the Union's scientific and technological weapons plummeted. After several years, there ceased to be any more technological advances. In contrast, the Qianming Empire's martial arts developed further with each passing day. It became no longer a pretense to say that supernatural powers could prevail over artillery shells, and that they would soon cause the whole nation's power to surpass that of the Union. Acting Master Liang Min, current chief disciple of the God Fist Hall. Grand Master Liang. Didn't I tell you to not call me Grand Master? What is it? After the Imperial Army of Qian Ning led by Third Senior Marshal Brother arrived at the Union of Ingluin, they marched all the way in. The Union has surrendered. Is that so? That's good. Ah, uh, Master Liang, you're the most accomplished martial artist in the Empire. If you don't want to claim the title of Grand Master, then who else has the right? Who else is there? But the one who Master Liang earnestly dreams about day and night. Oh, the man who, after destroying the Union's military base in the city of Haijiao, disappeared into oblivion and who no one has ever seen again. Naturally, it is Grand Master Xie Yen. Ahem, it seems that the two of you have nothing better to do. Your practice of the Heavenly Guard must be going quite well, so why don't you have a friendly match with your teacher? How could we ever compare our practice with yours, Master? Forgive me, Master. Then why aren't you still practicing? Master Sia, why is it that you haven't awakened after all this time? Do you want me to tell you the good news today? I finally did it. From now on, no one will persecute the Qian Ming Empire anymore. Forever. I'm a Grand Master, the great white jade pillar that supports the sky, and the purple gold beam that bridges the sea. The one who leads his fellow soldiers, to champion his country's might, and puts to death its invaders. It was really a heart-rending experience. I have no idea what the Qianming Empire will be like when I return. Will Yang Min manage to lead the people of Qianming to recover their place back at the top of the world? Seriously, system, couldn't you have let me stay in that world for a little while longer to eliminate the Union? That way I could have spared myself a whole lot of trouble later by harvesting those suckers dry. Open system panel. Let me take a look at the gains I got this time. I actually got over 600 origin points. The harvest this time was pretty good. Huh. What's this? I brought the national soul title back too. Current title. National soul title effect. The usage cost of all your defensive skills have been reduced by 90% and their power has been doubled. Awesome. I'm so big and strong, I'm invincible. How lonely it is, to be invincible. How hollow is to be invincible I'm standing. Eh? Who dares to sneak attack this grand? Master. Damn it, as soon as I started putting on airs a little bit, someone gave me a ride. Just my rotten luck. My dear, oh my dear, how the hell did you practice your martial arts to have fully mastered the heavenly guard overnight? I hit you with 40% of my power just now. But to my surprise you came out completely unscathed? So it was Qin Shi Si. And it's no wonder too since the power of her attack was stronger than the Union's bombs. This world truly deserves to be called the main world. Its level of power is far higher than that of those smaller worlds. 
Her strike at 40% power nearly broke through the Heavenly Guard upgraded over the level cap combined with the effect of the National Soul. If we went all out, I guess I would have immediately dropped dead. My lady, is there something you want? Nothing. I'm just a little bit curious. My dear has become a little deep and difficult to understand recently, and I just can't wrap my head around him. Chin Shinsi has every right to be curious. After all, it must be incredibly shocking for someone to fully master the Heavenly Guard in a single night. It's quite unlikely for someone to be that formidable. What is there to understand? If we're talking about being deep, then my lady should also be on the same boat. Right. The daytime is long. When will the good nights come? Why, are you that anxious to get back to the matriarch's side? Don't blame me for not warning you. The great elder will do you in at any time. You'd better not foolishly wander around outside. You'd better be a good boy and stick to the master like glue. I'm just the matriarch's manservant. How could I possibly pester her all day? Huh? My lady, could it be that you're jealous? You can't possibly believe that I have that kind of relationship with the matriarch, right? I've been falsely accused. There's nothing going on between the matriarch and me. I'm completely innocent. You're my one and only true love in this life. What a glib tongue you have. But with my dear's current condition, I'm afraid you're only all bark and no bite. This punk is getting smarter and smarter as of late. He's not as gullible as he used to be. Shouldn't my lady know my tongue best? How could you say I'm all bark and no bite? This girl wants to deceive me? Does she take me for a blockhead, just like the original owner? Chin Chinsi is right. Right now, my strength is not enough to contend with the great elder. The matriarch is my biggest coattail. Now that I have a decent amount of origin points, I can upgrade the finger of Nirvana. My best bet right now is to completely heal the matriarch's injuries. So expensive. It took 140 to upgrade the finger of origin points Nirvana to level 3. And looking at the description, it doesn't seem that much has changed. I have no idea if this is enough to heal the matriarch, so why don't I upgrade it once more? I have more than 500 origin points left, and it's still not enough? Just how many of them are needed to upgrade the finger of Nirvana to level 4? I'm going to give it a try whether the finger of Nirvana at level 3 can heal the matriarch or not but I can't be hasty about it. The time lapse between those worlds and the main world is different, for the matriarch. I just left a moment ago. I just came out a moment ago. It would be too much of an overstatement if I returned right now and said I had found a way to heal her. I'd better postpone it for a day or two, and then make up an excuse that the sect founder came to me in my dreams and furthered my knowledge of the finger of Nirvana before I go to her. With so many origin points on hand, What's most important right now is to turn them into actual strength. Is this the elder who's in charge of guarding the Sutra Pavilion, and is second only to the sect master and the four great elders? He looks a little bit pocket-sized. Well met, elder. It seems that the sect master looks upon you with high regard. This is the highest level cultivation token. You can choose the most precious innate realm skills in the sect. The more than hundred martial arts books you see here are the sect's most prized collection. From the acquired realm up to the innate realm, you'll lack nothing. As long as it's a skill I can understand, I can record it in the system by looking at it once. There are so many martial arts books here. My efforts have finally paid off. With the system in hand, not only will I bag all of the secret skills in the Sutra Pavilion, but I'll also perhaps come across some unexpected joy. Isn't this how it usually goes in sexual fantasy novels? What's this little brat thinking? Laughing silly like that. This is the Matching Sex Secret Ledger. It contains a record of the names and a brief introduction of all the skills in the sect. Now, hurry up and choose. Can I go through these classics with my own hands? The information I can glean from only looking at the introduction is limited. There's no way for me to find a suitable skill for myself. That used to be the case, but it hasn't been possible since when Tingyun, the 48th sect master, secretly learned all the skills in the pavilion with his extraordinary knack for memory retention. I don't think a little punk like you is very honest. I won't give you any opportunities for any sleights of hand. You can only choose them from here. Fine. What a crafty old fox. Still, what's up with that when Tingyun? Why didn't you secretly have fun and be done with it? Why did you have to spread the word around and ruin the younger generation's prospects? 
I'm going to practice the strongest martial arts, and since there's innate realm skills here, I won't pick any of the ones for the acquired realm. The maiden scripture is the main canon of the sect, when practiced to the extreme, not only can one freely change between immortal and demonic cultivation, but it also allows its practitioner to maintain their youthful appearance, and the more you practice it, the more beautiful you will be. The matriarch should be practicing this one, unfortunately, it can only be practiced by women, so it has nothing to do with me. The secret of joy technique is also a skill that can only be practiced by women, its practitioners can not only follow the way of the taking of life force, but also the way of wickedness and virtue, to constantly hone their sexuality by utilizing their appearance of a loose bitch, yet at the same time maintain their body lofty and unsullied. Chin Shinsi was supposed to be the latter, but then she met me, alas, I'm such a handsome, vibrant, and sinful man. Eh? Wen Tingyun? Wasn't this the guy who paraded his extraordinary knack for memory retention all over the place? I didn't expect that out of all the past generations of sect masters, he was the only one who was male, and also came up with an innate skill by himself. The Finger of Flowery Swords With this skill, a person can use their fingers to shoot sword energy at their foes whilst in combat. This is exactly the attack class martial art that I've been sorely lacking. Say, isn't this attack method similar to the Six Miles Holy Sword? The Finger of Flowery Swords, created by Wen Ting Jun, the 48th Sect Master, the practitioner must be an elegant and handsome man, otherwise please don't hurt yourself. This skill was tailor-made for me, perfect, this is the one. Oh? The Finger of Flowery Swords? Yes, looking at your profile, I'd say that you're qualified to practice it. If I'm not a fit for it, then none of the male disciples in the whole sect are. The Finger of Flowery Swords is not only a cultivation method for improving internal strength, but also a fingering and sword technique to wound and kill an enemy. One might as well say that it's a collection of ten martial arts in a single book. However, there are some troublesome bits in the basics of this martial art. You need to be in the company of beauties all day, be romantic but not obscene, be passionate but not abusive. Only when the innate energy in the body is stained with the smell of young beauties, transforms into flowery energy, and the fingers are compelled to expel a sword tip like essence, will the basics be learned. But to be with beauties all day long, there's only so much time I can meet with the matriarch every day, so there's no point in thinking about her. Chin Chinsi would do, but she's a very dangerous woman, and she's really not all that fond of me. Shuryaner hates me to the bone, and the other girls in the sect are also avoiding me because I offended the great elder. It's written in the manuscript that there should be at least five beauties, but the more the better. Don't tell me I'll have to hook up with girls from other sects. The next day. Huh. Your finger of nirvana today seems to be quite different from before. My injuries are healing at an astonishing rate. My innate energy is full and overflowing. I even collapsed the bed by accident. How could my injuries have been completely healed? In only two days, your finger of nirvana has progressed to the point of completely healing me. Is it possible that you lied to me last time? Sis you, how could you say such a thing? These last few nights, the sect founder appeared in my dreams and instructed me on how to level up the finger of nirvana. Do you see these black circles around my eyes? I haven't slept for several days. Fortunately, the finger of nirvana at level 3 worked, otherwise it would have been troublesome. It really does seem that you went through a great deal of hardship. Fortunately you were blessed by the sect founder. I'm in high spirits today. Speak. What other rewards do you desire? Sis you. I haven't the slightest clue how to practice this martial art. I would like to ask you for some advice. Oh? The finger of flowery swords? You really did choose this martial art. It's not very easy to get started on this martial art. Actually, there's a very suitable place for you to practice this martial art. This is the place the third elder runs in the nearby city of Jianling. Is this the brothel run by the third elder the Yi Qing establishment? It's told that an artist doesn't sell his own body but his craft. Yet when I look at that name it doesn't seem like it. The third elder has always been neutral within the sect, therefore she won't make your life difficult because of the hostilities between you and the great elder, and you're of great use to the third elder, so if you practice there, she'll probably lend you a hand. I'm of great use to the third elder, what kind of great use? I'm not in a position to reveal that, you'd better go see it for yourself. I have a very bad feeling about this. Now the only thing to worry about is the great elder. If she disregards her status and lays her hands on you, the outside of the sect is beyond my influence so I won't be able to help. For that I have a way. You have a way? I wrote a new book. No, wait. I mean, 
I looked into a book that's being handed down on the market recently called Tears on a Beautiful Face Lesbians. It tells the story about a heartless master, who has a taboo love for her female apprentice. In her heart, she regards her as a queen and hopes to be mercilessly stepped on by her. It's an utterly vicious book. You revealed your identity in the ending of the last volume of the young married woman Shinsi. How dare you come up with a new book? Sis you, you finished reading it? Ahem. Of course not. I don't read such decadent writing. I just so happen to overhear some friends mentioning it. Naturally, I'm convinced that some villain must have planted the so-called made by Xie Yen in the book to set you up. Exactly, exactly. This time, the author is a guy called Deja Vu. They even say that this Deja Vu may be Ji Yuntao from the upright Tai Xian sect. I've been hearing for a long time that he's a handsome and elegant man. I don't know how many girls have fallen for him, but I never thought he was such a pretentious hypocrite. However, other people's rumors have said that it was Daoist nun Hong Ling from Ji Liguan who took up such a name to conceal her identity. As expected, she's a vixen from a demonic sect who lives by taking life force. She has no sense of shame. Matriarch, aren't you a member of a demonic sect too? Yet it's also told that the booklets began circulating from the towns neighboring the Buddhist temple of heaven. So those nuns were all a bunch of whores all along. A few days after the matriarch came to know about it, a pornographic book, The Tears on a Beautiful Face Lesbians, began being handed down in the areas neighboring the Taishian sect, Ji Liguan and the Buddhist Temple of Heaven. Soon afterwards, the book began spreading in the Maching sect, because of the exceedingly obvious illusion of the content. The great elder in a fit of rage, drew her sword and left the sect, threatening she could only vent out her hatred after cutting down the one called Deja Vu. Yet the one who she wants to cut down is deja vu, so what does he have to do with me? Not bad, this is indeed a wonderful place to practice the finger of flowery swords. So you're Xie Yen? The matriarch sent me a letter to inform me of your request. At first, for such a trivial matter, I would have just sent a few servants to deal with it. Third elder of the Maching sect, Yu Xuanji. However, I'm somewhat curious about you, so I specially called you for us to meet. As expected, your handsomeness is quite exceptional. It's just that you don't seem to be an eunuch as the rumors say? Do not hesitate to deceive the whole sect and to protect you. Has the matriarch's desire for love begun to sprout? The third elder must be joking. I know my own limitations. Even though I'm as noble as a dragon and as handsome as a phoenix, I haven't been able to make the matriarch fall for me. As an elder she's quite remarkable. She could easily figure out with a single glance that little Xie Yen is still here. She must know a lot about men. Her every move is overflowing with charm, stirring a person's heart. I've heard she practices the secret of joy technique. It seems that she has a much greater knack for it than Qin Shinsi. Indeed, you have a clear understanding of yourself. I have always been neutral within the sect, so I will not be partial to the great elder, nor will I swing in the matriarch's way. If you want to stay in this establishment, you have to agree to one condition. What's your condition? I seem to recall that the matriarch said that I'd be of great use for her, but she didn't go into any details. Wait a minute. She practices the secret of joy technique, while I, the young master, have a virtuous body and am this good-looking to boot. Could that be what she wants? Don't come. Scream. Scream all you want but no one's going to save you. Wake up. Stop speculating on your own. My first lineal disciple practices a lower-level skill in the same category as the secret of joy technique, the mantra of heartlessness. The way to practice this skill is to clash with men in the field of sexuality. Provided we outdo our opponent in this clash, and plant feelings in their hearts, we can rapidly improve our cultivation. Externally, you have a godly appearance. Internally you harbor a virtuous body. You are a man among men and the best of them all. As long as any of my disciples can plant feelings in your heart, you'll be worth more than one hundred men. I was considering what the condition might be and it turned out to only be this. I accept. Are you aware what will happen if you fail in this clash, and become the person who's been planted with feelings in his heart? I'm well aware, the body and soul of the person who has the feelings planted in his heart will be reduced to a mere slave of the one who planted them, and will respond to his every beck and call and grant his every plea. You already knew this? And you still accept it? Have I ever lost in a clash regarding feelings with a woman before? All the times I barely managed to escape with my life was because of my peerless handsomeness. From the beginning, it has always been women licking my boots and it's not now that I'm going to start the habit of licking theirs. What's more? Third elder, you're exceedingly beautiful, enough to cause the fall of a state, and your disciples must also be quite the beauties themselves, 
if one were to clash with them and lose, let alone being reduced to a love-struck fool, wouldn't death be preferable? If it were an expert like you coming out personally, I might have some reservations, but if it's only your disciples, a bunch of clumsy newbies, I don't give a shit. Good, you're really admirable. No wonder you chose the finger of flowery swords. Everyone, come out. Young Lord Sia. Please enlighten us. Mrs., please enlighten me too. Oh my, so many of them. Did they call all the girls in the building here? But this is also fine. My finger of flowery swords needs the energy of a huge number of beauties and the more of them, the better. For the next few days, I clashed together with these younger and older misses in the field of love, contrary to my expectations. Under the wing of an expert like the third elder, these disciples didn't behave like novices. But as proper artists, what's up with the third elder's tastes? Why are they so similar to the matriarchs? A few days later. Dear Sia, I'll miss you. Although the cowherd and the weaving maid are separated by the Milky Way, they can meet each other once a year. Dear Sia, we'll see each other again. I'll never forget these past few days I spent with dear Sia for my entire life. I don't want to be apart from dear Sia. Ha ha, he's indeed worthy of being called a man who's practicing the finger of flowery swords. All that flirting in his heart isn't even aroused in the slightest. The more difficult a man is to conquer, the deeper the feelings planted when they are, and the better the result. It's a pity that there are too many of us, and can only take a turn once a week. These bunch of girls have some skills. To my surprise, they even know the principle of not trying to win someone over with their beauty for long periods of time, and opted for the moving someone with affection approach. I only fear that if I fall into their trap, the feelings will become deep-rooted and it'll be hard to get myself out of it. Too bad for them. I've learned quite a bit from the countless girls in my previous life. I can easily tell at a glance if a girl is sincere or not. Their advances are to no avail on me. What I want is to collect the energy from these beauties, not to have some bullshit feelings planted on me. It is clear that I've always been together with countless beauties every day, so why is the skill making such slow progress? If things keep going like this, when will I reach the introductory level? According to the manuscript, if you want to practice the finger of flowery swords, being a peerless beauty is only a stepping stone for success, only when women wholeheartedly love the practitioner and follow him of their own accord can they produce the energy suitable for cultivation. And only when the practitioner has a large number of beauties admiring him by his side, indulging in his voice and countenance to their heart's content, can they absorb enough rich energy to allow the finger of flowery swords to reach the introductory level. These days, even though I'm in the company of beauties all day long, I'm not having a good time in the slightest, it's more like we're having a duel with concealed swords. And each of their honeyed words are like the thrust of a spear and every trace of love is a stab in the back. At this rate, who knows when I'll reach the introductory level? I won't have to stay in this brothel my entire life if I can't do it, will I? Since my face alone is not enough, I have to think of another way to make these girls fall for me. If my face won't do, then I can only rely on my talents. I'll use all those Tang and Song Dynasty poems under my belt as my entry ticket. No, no, that won't work. These girls study the literary arts and are proficient in all kinds of poems, songs, ditties and odes against them, it would be like giving the game away. Now that I'm thinking about it, I guess I could use my finger to send them into a world of pure bliss. A few days later. What are you doing here? The third elder asked me to attend to young Lord Sia. You'd better give it up, you have such a plain appearance. Even we can't handle young Lord Sia and you think you can? You're just wasting your time. Tonight the Plum Blossom Boat Festival is going to be jointly held by our I Ching establishment, and the Yinyu County Hall and several elder sisters will be taking part in it. So the third elder asked me to look after the young lord. So that's how it is. Younger sister, you're going to be spending time alone with young lord Sia pitting yourself against him. So you must seize the opportunity, you hear? Who knows? Maybe the young lord will take a bit of a liking to you. Ha ha. Young lord Sia, I'll be the one waiting upon you today. Miss, you look quite unfamiliar. Is this our first meeting? Hey, this is my chance. I can take advantage of this to run into his embrace. Girl, are you alright? You seem to be preoccupied. Is there something on your mind? It's rare for a martial artist to be so clumsy. Wah wah. Why are you crying? Did someone pick on you? I really want to take part in the boat festival tonight but I'm not as beautiful as the others are. Even the Guchin, the only thing I'm good at, 
is completely unoriginal and in no way better than my sister's gracefulness, so I'm not worthy of participating in the boat festival. Looking at your facial features, it's just that the inner line of the outer tip of your eyebrows was pulled back a few cu in too much, which led to a somewhat poor appearance. What's more, you don't appear all that different from them. In fact, you're better suited to be the heroine, rather than such a delicate little girl. But it's too bad that the current you is such a flawed piece of precious jade. What a pity! Then what should I do? Actually, I have a way to shave off your blemishes and brush off the grime covering you. With it, not only can you take part in the Plum Blossom Boat Festival tonight, but you'll also be able to shine more vividly than all the other overwhelming beauties. That's Lady Chi Lu from the I Ching establishment. As expected, the music was so melodious and her voice so mellow. Her singing is beautiful, and she is even more so. Every year, the Flower Boat Festival is jointly held by the I Ching establishment and the Yinyu County Hall, along with all the brothels in the city of Jiangling to allow their girls to ride in the flower boats across the arch bridge and show off their talents at the same time, if the people on the bridge have someone among the beauties who they especially admire, and want to elect them as the queen of flowers, they can buy baskets fitted with pink petals to offer to them. I thank you all! At the end of the festival, whoever obtains the most petals, will be worthy of the title of queen of flowers of the city of Jianling. It's Lady Ming Tang, as expected, Lady Ming Tang's dance moves me even more. Lady Ming Tang, I love you, you're my waifu, huh, aren't you the guy who just called Shi Lu his waifu, why did you have such a sudden change of heart? Don't mind those small details. Tonight's trip was really worthwhile, as expected, these beautiful women are indeed noble and worthy of praise. Above all is the Yi Ching establishment, it just feels like that if their girls didn't exist. The four arts wouldn't either, it seems that the Queen of Flowers is going to be awarded to the Yi Ching establishment. We just don't know whether it will be Lady Chi Luo or Meng Tang. What do you want? We're all disciples of a demonic sect, and now that we've caught you, a inspiring, inviolable and righteous lady, what do you think we're going to do? I, Xie Daoyun, am a follower of righteousness, and vow to not live under the same sky as a bunch of demons like you. I shall never allow you to touch a single strand of my hair. Xie Daoyun, isn't that the descendant of the Buddhist Xin Jai? the most long-standing righteous inheritance of the Han Empire? She's the most outstanding righteous practitioner genius of the younger generation. She's killed who knows how many demonic sect disciples. How could she have been caught? Are you guys blind? It's clear this woman is a lead actress from the Yinyu County Hall, the very best one. Ah, uh, I recognize her now. It's really her. But what is she doing? Is she acting out a play? Do you still take yourself as holy and pure, Miss Righteous, now that your cultivation is crippled, you can only let us, demonic disciples, do as we please. Save me, isn't there a young chivalrous knight who can save me? Scream, scream all you want but no one's going to save you. Come back, don't go. I really want to know how it ends, isn't it petals that you want, I'll give them all to you if you come back. How shameless, your county hall actually used such an underhanded trick. Acting out a play is also a kind of talent. We're still having a fair competition, and the visitors are enjoying it. Master of the Yinyu County Hall, Elder from the Blissful Temple, by Su Yuan. At the back of the Yinyu County Hall stands the Blissful Temple, which is in no way inferior in power to the Maching sect. These bunch of Taoist nuns practice the Yinyu double cultivation method, so they are very open minded and in many cases more popular with men. I've carefully mentored Chi Luo and Meng Tang, I thought I could beat her this time but I didn't expect that she still had such a trick up her sleeve. What's that sound? It seems to be a zither? All of the famous beauties in Jiangling have already showed up. Who's playing it? Is that Xie Yen? The sunset rays leave the sleeves of my dress. Passing by the people on the flower boat reminds me of the beauty of my hometown. I was skilled with my sword, and good with my fists. It was common for me to brave danger. I met a beauty south of the Yangtze River made love and pledged my undying love, but my passion itself wasn't willing to give up the world. So I mercilessly cut down our relationship like a sword. My troubled youth only left me with a scar. But my spirit will never grow old and the tune of my zither will go on. I only want to come and go freely as a man-man and not as a chivalrous knight. Buy me fifty kilograms of flowers and scatter them for me. I didn't get about half of that song. But it has a unique charm. What kind of song was that? I've never heard such a strange and pleasant tune before. Is that young man in white and immortal banished from the heavens? 
Why does he look as elegant and bright as the moon? If that young man is a banished immortal, then that girl with a mask on her face must be a sword immortal. Her sword dance was as graceful as a flying swan and as refined as a roaming dragon. Well met, ladies and gentlemen. This is young Lord Xie Yan. The song you just heard is called Not as a Chivalrous Knight, and was specially written by H.M. for myself. As for my maiden name, it's... Meng Ching Lian. Wow, so beautiful, she's indeed worthy of being called a sword immortal. What's even more impressive is that her eyebrows are as dashing as those of a hero, her eyes shine as though they were stars, her manner is neither bewitching nor seductive, but only natural and dignified, and hasn't the slightest trace of the pretentious and pampered attitude of other women, I've never seen a woman with such a valiant and heroic bearing. Now that I saw dear Sia today, there's no room in my eyes for other men. Looking at him was the biggest mistake in my whole life. At first, I thought the show I had prepared was unexpected enough, but I didn't imagine that you actually had such a couple lying in store. You may not believe it, but that woman's real name is Meng Xiaohua, and she is the most ordinary girl in my establishment. Bullshit, you Xuanji, you actually dare to humiliate me like this? I'll never forget what happened today. I'll be sure to pay you back. I didn't humiliate you, she really is the most ordinary girl in my establishment. But how did she become so beautiful, and why did she change her name to Meng Qinglian? The beauties of the Maqing sect are so noble, there's no way I could allow the Yunnan County Hall, an underling of the Blissful Temple, to get the better of us. I wonder if this gift is to your satisfaction, Third Elder? You did all of this? Was it you who wrote that performance just now, and is it also because of you that Meng Xiaola's appearance changed so much? How on earth did you do it? My finger of nirvana can heal all kinds of wounds instantaneously, and although my sword finger is still weak and hasn't reached the introductory level yet, it's still sharp enough to be used as a scalpel. With the two of them combined, I can completely wittate South Korea's plastic surgery, which is one of the four modern-day magic arts in Asia. Add in the most popular ancient songs enjoyed by hundreds of millions of people as well as a sword dance which integrates elements from popular dances, and you end up with something quite mundane. But in an ancient world like this, which lacks the pop from the entertainment industry, wouldn't it astonish the whole audience? Now all the girls within this building are finally within my grasp. Thank you very much, young lord. What are you doing that for? Stand up. Young master is extremely skilled, he reshaped my appearance, taught me that sword dance, and made my name famous throughout Jiangling. Your kindness gave me a new lease on life, Qinglian, shall never forget this for my whole life. South Korea's facelifting is indeed a weapon of mass destruction, enough to make a girl feel lost and desperate, and so, all the girls in the building went crazy one after another, abandoning their reserve, wanting me to check up on their bodies, ah, uh, I mean, the flaws on their faces. There are also those who come to me to ask for advice on music and dancing, hoping that I, the great master of both of them, can tailor a tune fit for them. When beauties seek for me, naturally I can't be insensitive, fortunately, I came from the information age and have seen countless celebrities, with aesthetics much higher than what the girls of this world could possibly fathom. As such, several old-fashioned beauties with a mix of modern elements were born, and I created tunes and dances in line with their temperament for each of them. Because of this, the girls have even begun to address me as Master Sia. We servants greet Master Sia. In this way, for the following month, I've been comfortably practicing in the I Ching establishment, writing and composing songs for the girls and giving counsel to the third elder. It didn't take long for the I Ching establishment to overwhelm the Yinyu County Hall, for my reputation to begin to spread throughout Jiangling, to become the object of the wet dreams of numerous maidens, and to gain a heap of origin points from all the admiration and worship. On your guard. After so many days of hard work, the finger of flowery swords has finally reached the introductory level, however. Because the innate energy in my body has been transformed into flowery energy, not only did my realm not advance, it receded. But this is fine, the first layer of the acquired realm with the flowery energy, and the third layer with the previous inferior quality innate energy are about the same. Moreover, my heavenly guard has become even more powerful than before now that it's being driven by the flowery energy. Someone there? I heard that Master Sia is leaving. The reason I came here was to practice the finger of flowery swords, now that I have not only practiced it, but also came to know your sisters, it's time to go back. But I still haven't had time to repay Master Sia yet. Could it be that we sisters aren't good enough? Why is Master Sia so determined to leave? 
What's up with this situation? Don't tell me this girl is infatuated with me? This isn't good. If she can't restrain her feelings and devotes her life to me later, things will take a bad turn, be it before or after the crossing. I made a commitment to keep my hands clean. What happened with that bitch Chin Shinsi wasn't my fault. However, the skill of refusing a girl who throws herself into my arms is a technique I'm quite proficient in. I can't lose the style of an extremely beautiful man, nor can I brush away her honor. Ahem, people have joys and sorrows, partings and reunions. The moon may dim or shine, wax or wane. Nothing is perfect. This has gone on since time immemorial. Silly child, when living life in this world, to go suddenly on a long journey and leaving another side is inevitable. Would that we could live a long life and together share the moonlight even though far apart. So that even if we were separated by the numerous mountains and streams, we would all at least be under the same moon, basking in the same moonlight. Would that we could live a long life and together share the moonlight. According to my experience of being a man who barely escaped death, if you want to chop off an artistic girl's idea of lust for my body, just pour in a few random words into the scheme of a proper poem. Master Sia is right. It was I who was losing sight of everything. People with a free and natural character such as Master Sia are just like the moon. Their moonlight should be scattered to all the people in the world to deliver them salvation. I shouldn't be so selfish as to vainly attempt to make Master Sia dote on me alone. I'll definitely do my best to devote myself to spiritual practice so as to better myself. Then I'll come together with all my sisters in the establishment to serve Master Sia. As long as you understand, it's fine. Stay away, don't ever come. By the way, Master Sia, the poem you recited just now isn't complete. Indeed, I'll now recite to you the full poem. Consider this as my parting gift for you. Master Sia's finger of flowery swords has reached the introductory level. He will soon return to the sect. I can't wait any longer. Tonight is my last chance. I have to make sure to gobble up Master Sia. Why are you here? You vampish wench. I can't believe you had the gall to intrude on Master Sia's quarters during the night. How shameless. Aren't you scolding yourself? Don't tell me you're here to admire the full moon when you came to Master Sia's door this late. Bring it on. Only the one who prevails can enter Master Sia's quarters tonight. Wait a moment. What's that noise? Master Sia is mine. Nonsense. Master Sia belongs to everyone. Don't push. We'll line up one by one. Or, we could all go together. We should follow the other's example. Right. An idle group? Yes, there are millions of different people in the world and each one of them have their particular tastes. Some people like the pure, some like the wild, some like the delicate, some like the heroic. The women of this establishment have all their differing styles, so it'd be better to combine them to form an idle group, called Demon Girls 48. These 48 kinds of women would be enough to scoop up all the men in the world in one go. Though I have no idea if this world will be able to develop an idle culture. How large is your brain for it to harbor so many wonderful ideas? Why don't you just not return to the sect? If you stay here, you can pick any of the beauties in the building you desire. Anyone? Absolutely not. If you want to build up an idol culture, you have to turn the girls into the most perfect goddesses in the eyes of men. It's taboo for the goddesses to get close with them. Demon Girls 48 is just getting started. It's only proper that I should avoid arousing suspicion all the more. With all the girls in the building and you, the expert here as well, if I stay behind, I'll sooner or later be reduced to garbage. You're right, given the circumstances, I can hardly impose on you. But in return for what you did these past few days, I'll tell you a bit of news. Great Elder Wu Ling Xian came looking for me. What does she mean? Don't tell me she's going to do something to me. Don't be nervous. I've held back anything concerning you. Wu Ling Xian just came to me to try to persuade me to join her faction and rise in revolt against the matriarch. Then what are you trying to get at, Third Elder? By telling me this intel, it's incredibly likely that this old hag is hinting that she's going to shut me up for good if I don't stand on their side. I told Wu Ling Xian that I wouldn't take part in her struggle with the matriarch. I don't think you should go back. If you return, it's hard to say if your life will be guaranteed. You're very talented and I greatly admire you. If you stay in my establishment, not only will you be accompanied by beautiful women, but Wu Ling Xian will also show consideration for me and not take any actions against you. In a few years, you'll surely become a wonderful person and reach a cultivation level just like Sect Master Wen. What do you say? The third elder truly values me. Could it be because of this set of bones and a few other skills not worth mentioning? I think if it was the late Sect Master Wen, be it this time or place, he would have made the same decision. 
Third elder, most likely, in your heart, you already knew the answer. He's such an interesting and wonderful person that even I am starting to show a bit of affection for him. I hope he can survive from Wu Lingxian's onslaught. Yi Qing Establishment Master Xie, my sisters and I have prepared drinks in the legendary library pavilion and would like to invite you to drink with us and admire the full moon. We wonder if you have the time tonight? Master Xie, the Jiangling Lantern Festival is tomorrow. I'd like to invite you. I greatly appreciate your kindness from the bottom of my heart, but I've asked the third elder to leave today and will be setting out from the establishment soon. Master Xie is leaving? Is it because we didn't take good care of Master Xie? With Master Xie gone, what are we to do? I came to Jiangling as a guest. I thank you ladies for the care you've shown me in these last few days. Now it's time for me to return to the sect. Master Xie, you're, you're leaving. The scenery in Jiangling is so beautiful, and with us to accompany you, you'll never get lonely, Master Xie. Wouldn't it be much more enjoyable staying with us and keeping us mortals company? It's better to forget others and seek out a better life than to stick together and face untold hardships. When living life in this world, there will always be some regrets. I hope you ladies will take good care of yourselves. In the beginning, I just wanted to secretly depart in the dead of night, but who knew that at the ferry crossing? To my surprise, Meng Qinglian and the newly formed idols troop were waiting there to see me off. Master Xie, other than today, I don't know when I'll be able to see you again. So I asked all of my sisters to bid you farewell on your journey. Where will I be when I wake up tonight? I'm afraid I'll be on a willow bark, facing the cold morning wind and the wearing moon of dawn. Since ancient times, the saddest thing for lovers is parting, and even more when it's in the bleak of autumn how's one to endure? After the years have gone past, even if the weather and scenery were to become more lively, it'll still be just as via. Even if I'm filled with love, who can I share it with? One by one, these girls actually became quite infatuated with me. It's hard to predict what will be lying in store for me when I return to the sect, and the third elder's proposal was indeed really exciting. It even made me consider staying in this land of warmth and tenderness. However, the matriarch has shown me favor, and it'd be much too dull for me to only run away this time. Besides, the matriarch has already recovered. I'll feel more optimistic in this game with the great elder with her around. In this trip to Jiangling, not only did I make waves, but I also gained a big lump of origin points and reached the introductory level of the finger of flowery swords without a hitch. When I leave Jiangling, I'd better find a remote location outside the city to upgrade it. When I was still in the I Ching establishment, I didn't dare to casually upgrade it. The matriarch might believe me if I told her the sect founder appeared in my dreams again, but the third elder most likely wouldn't.